Hello and welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty in NCAA Football 2003. Today, we're starting up Season 8. We're going to be doing a long stream here today. Six games. We're going to travel to Hawaii. We're going to take on Texas. And I believe we're traveling to the shoe. Let's see here. Yep, we are going at Ohio State. And we're hosting USC. Then we get into our SEC play versus LSU and Vandy. Let me get this off the screen. That's off the screen. All right, we're good to go. All set. As always, don't forget to slap the like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. Let's take a look at our roster real quick. Let you guys see what's going on here. Oh, we'll look at the depth chart, actually. Alright, so Napoleon Watson, he's starting. Look at his career numbers for the Dogs. I'll try to get him to 10,000 yards passing this season, maybe. We are switching up the offense a little bit. We're going to roll with the Miami Hurricane offense. Hey, Tyler, what's up, buddy? Get an NFC North championship for the Lions. That's pretty awesome, dude. Love to see that. We have true freshman running back Damian Sanford. He's going to be our starter. 97 speed. He's faster than Jamar Belton was uh, by one speed. Ballard, he's still going to be our bruiser. We have a little bit more eye formation uh, plays in the new playbook. Still got some shotgun in there and quite a few single back sets as well. Here are the receivers. Remember, we are redshirting uh, Joiner this season. Tight end, still the same. Now, we are, <laughs> let's see, we started. Four seniors on the line last season. So now we've got four freshmen on the O-line. Chris Harris is our starting left tackle. We've got Jeff Burris. He's our starting left guard. These are all red shirt. And then center, true freshman, Marco Ryan gets the nod. And Travis Lane is the backup, who's also uh, pretty dang good for a true freshman. Our right guard is actually going to be our right tackle, Andy Chapman. Six overall better than Lyle Good. And our right tackle, RJ Murphy, the only non-freshman starting on the O-line. And it's a different story on the D-line. As we look, we have all seniors. Brock Contreras at left end. We're starting Roman McRae at right end. And the D-line, or the interior of the defensive line, Ryan Atkins, Richard Sr., Nate Cohen. Redshirt senior. Then we got some juniors below them. Linebacking core, redshirt senior Earl Singleton. So he'll be gone after this season. This is really, you know, this is a make or break season. We have to win the national championship this year. It, I mean, no excuses. We have to do it. Carl Salazar, he's a senior. So we're losing our entire defensive line. And we're losing two starting linebackers. And we might lose Corbin May to the draft. So we we desperately uh, need to not falter this season at all. Our corners, again, uh, they continue to be the weak spot on the defense. We've got true freshman Keyshawn Barry starting. And Tony Calhoun, the sophomore, uh, who had a pretty good season for us. He had a uh, scoop and score touchdown and a pick six last year. Uh, his only pick was that touchdown. And 30 tackles. And Ken Robbins is starting at the nickel corner spot. Free safety, we got Anthony Pruitt again. Redshirt Jr. Strong safety, Jared Woodard. Back-to-back -back, uh, defensive back of the year award winner right there. He's had a good career for us so far. 12 picks, over 100 tackles, three force fumbles, three recovered, and 16 deflections. Kicker, Rick Hayes. He improved a little bit in field goal percentage last season. Only missed four kicks as opposed to the five the season before. And John White in his final season punting the ball for us. But he improved quite a bit last season for the net average. Pretty good. His normal average went down about a yard, but that's okay. Kick returns, we got Desmond Dale and Ken Robbins. A couple sophomores out there. And on punt returns, we have Ron Hawkins 
because, well, we didn't really have him involved in the offense much last season. Couldn't get it going. Only one touchdown after having 12 in his uh, previous two seasons combined with over 2,000 yards. So, uh, But again, we are switching up the offense a little bit. Let's see if we can do formation subs here because I want to get Robbie Ballard in there. We have a lot more I formation sets. So we're going to start, let's see, we'll give Ballard that single back set, and we'll give him that one. Alright, so he's got a few formations. Alright, hopefully you guys are all ready, because we are doing six games. Let's get it. Traveling to Hawaii to start the season off, and we are currently number one in the nation. I'd like to point that out. We got the number one preseason poll ranking. Uh, if you guys want to look at that real quick, we'll look at the top 25. Well, we got a lot of first place votes here, uh, which is really interesting because Georgia won the national championship over USC, and they're down in fifth place. Well, we have the best returning roster, uh, apparently, so that has to be the difference here. Still a lot of small schools in the rankings. Love that. Mid-Tennessee State up in the top 20. And that is the top 25. Let's look at the SEC. I think that's just alphabetical, so doesn't really matter. There's no uh, projections for the season. All right, we're nationally televised in Honolulu. Let's make sure we got our sound on for the opening game we sure do all right let's get the warm-up game out of the way we're gonna use Miami's offense let's get it Don't mind the noises in the background. Uh, if you hear anything, my dog is chewing on her Christmas present. It's like a plastic flavored fish thingy. I don't know. She loves it. And now she's staring at me. becomes the site for this college football matchup. And let me tell you, it is still hot out here for tonight's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Warriors of Hawaii. And this is why I picked up, uh, going to Hawaii. Beautiful stadium, great weather. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreit here kicking off the start of the NCAA football season. And I can tell already that week one looks to have the recipe for what we think will be a very exciting season. The Bulldogs come out like they're just going to roll over this team. What do you think about that, Herbie? Yeah, unfortunately, this one won't be much of a contest. Mississippi State has so many weapons, they're not blink their eyes, because if they do, he's gone. Forget about it. Hawaii is not going to be able to slow down this rushing attack, and I'm going to tell you why. That defensive line is going to get dominated up front, Kirk. And they're going to lose this one big. Thanks, guys. Let's head down to the field. The two teams are lined up for the coin toss. All right. They all think it's going to be a blowout uh, based on the rosters, of course. Uh, let's get the ball first. I want to see what the young freshman running back can do for us. Pretty excited about him. 97 speed. Hawaii ready to kick this one off. Robbins and Dale back to return. Here's the kick. All right, Desmond. Dale fields it at the 11. Yuku. Perhaps turn off the commentators. All right, let's get it. Is it LSU or Vandy the opener? Uh, I believe it's LSU. Oh 
my goodness. I thought Sanford was gone on the first play. How you doing, Alex? Yeah, I switched up the playbook just a bit. Trying to kind of fit the roster that we currently have. Oh, here we go. Come on, freshman. He's looking good already. And we got some more I formation in here this season. Got some ISOs in there, which is always nice to have. I don't want to have to rely on, on Watson. Oh, nice tackle. The uh, passing game took a big hit last season. I don't know what was going on with that. Uh, we just couldn't get a whole lot going. And, all right, that went nowhere. Guess we're going to have to rely on Watson right now to throw it a little bit. Got a couple of shotgun sets. Not a lot, though. Am I going to export these guys to Madden? I have saved every draft class so far. Or recruiting class. Or draft class. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I saved them all. Throw it. Corner route. And it's going to be overthrown. And that's not what we wanted. So we start off pretty good running the ball. And then two straight runs in a row. We get stonewalled at the line of scrimmage. And we have an overthrow to start the season for Watson. Here's White on for the punt. That's a pretty good one. Out of bounds at about the five-yard line. That quiets the crowd down. Like to see a custom Madden League one of these days. And yeah, maybe someday we'll bring back the uh, EFL. It's a lot of work doing leagues by by yourself. We're going to toss this out. Get him. Oh, nice cutback by Harrington. And he'll pick up a few yards. It's our starting defense. McRae, Cohen, Atkins, Contreras, May, Salazar, Singleton. And we've got the true freshman at the number one corner spot. Oh, my goodness. Nice catch by Jones, Hawaii, moving down the field. Barry is the number one corner. True freshman, Pruitt, Woodard, and Calhoun back at his number two spot. And that pass is incomplete. And he's headed for 81. Don't want to start the season off uh, getting upset by Hawaii. It'll be a long climb to get back to the top after that. And the pass is going to be dropped on the sideline. And third down and ten coming up. Hey, what's going on, Jay? What's up, buddy? Quick pass, and Garrison is going to be dropped for a loss. Crowd not happy with that play call. They're going to punt it away. And we're going to have to fair catch that around the 41-yard line. Breaks a tackle. Too bad there's another defender in the backfield. That's Freeman. All right, so they're focusing on stopping the run right now. Gotten no yards on the last three carries. There's Roy wide open. There's a first down up inside the 45-yard line of Hawaii Territory.
See if the fullback can get some yards for us. Oh, here we go. Here you go, Harding. Fullback getting the first down. His first carry of the season. He had 10 touchdowns his freshman year. That eight cents. And Ballard picking up two. Malone down inside the five-yard line. What a throw from Napoleon Watson. Their quarterback's name is Hoofnagel. Oh, my goodness. That is fantastic. From the one-and-a-half-yard line. See if Ballard can punch it in for us. And he will. Touchdown, Mississippi State. First score of season number eight. point up and good seven nothing that was a six play 59 yard drive minute and a half off the clock all right see what the defense can do drop for a loss of two. Singleton on the stop. Play action. And that's deflected away. Salazar gets a mid on it. And third and twelve. Coming up. defense and another quick pass uh, not even close to the sticks Warriors gonna punt it away again five more games coming up after this one guys come on Hawkins catch that he did not catch it well I guess we get the ball inside around 30 I gotta go into formation subs. What is going on with Ballard being the running back on everything? There we go. I'd like for the young fella to get some carries. Put that 97 speed to good use. Here we go. And he's up to the 44-yard line. Really hoping he has a big year. <coughs> and Sanford going to pick up seven or eight more yards. Pick up 43 on six carries. chains again. And he is now off the field. He's a little tired. But 
Uh, we can still keep running the ball. Ballard is a very capable running back for us. Just need some blocking. And we've got some decent blocks, about four yards. Go fullback dive. And it's Harding carrying a defender up to the 31 yard line. Nice strong run for the big fella. True freshman cannot come away with it. Watson hit as he threw it. And the first quarter, dogs on top, seven nothing over Hawaii. And a good run for Ballard again up the middle. We got a third and five coming up. Freshman back on the field. Sanford. And we're going to give it to him. Oh, no. False start. Uh, I think that was left guard. All right. They're down at 10 now. That pushes us out of field goal range. Nobody's open. Nobody was open. That is so unfortunate. We're going to go for it. Just throw it up, I guess. On fourth and ten. Pass is incomplete. He intended for Massey. Okay. Passing game still struggling a little bit from last season. Draw play. And Harrington gets a couple. Syracuse beats, I think that was Oregon to start the season. And almost a great catch on the sideline. Hoofnagel, 3 of 7, uh, just 24 yards so far. Deflected away from that was uh, Salazar, and another punt coming up for Hawaii. Hey, what's up, Infamy? How the season start? Well, we just started it. You only missed a quarter. Young running backs doing pretty good to start the game. He's a speed demon. He gets nine yards on that one. Already at 56 for the game. again. Well, we can rely on the run. It's just the passing game so far. We still can't figure it out. Let's try a screen pass. Right. 
get the ball to the speedy freshman running back. Maybe. Oh, man. He fumbles it, and Hawaii recovers. That's unfortunate. What an absolute disaster that was. Screenplays just do not work very well. And that pass is well overthrown. Second and ten coming up for the Warriors. Calhoun gets beat. There's a touchdown for Hawaii. Went for the ball, missed it. And the Warriors make him pay. And I went off sides. Got a little too excited. up and good tie ball game here in Honolulu number one Bulldogs still trying to figure it out on offense this is a freshman quarterback our quarterback is a senior 91 overall. And there's Ballard picking up eight. Man, we could definitely run the ball on these guys. It's just, you know, when they stop us and it gets to be third and medium, third and long, we can't figure out how to throw the ball. <laughs> Which is crazy because we threw for over 4,000 yards just two seasons ago. We're over 100 rushing yards already. Four of the five offensive linemen are freshmen. And they're doing pretty good in run blocking so far. Picking up three. About three and a half yards to get the first down. And Stan Sanford is stuffed. Oh, man. Uh, fourth and two. Let's go for it. for me and we did not get it huge tackle by the defensive back I don't know what it is about our offense that has just been I don't know there's just something off about it the last two seasons can't figure it out that pass is caught by Jones Hawaii moves the chains on their first play of the drive goodness almost a great interception by the true freshman Barry
Woodard with a nice tackle. They're down a four coming up. Let's go three four man lock. Neither team has converted a third down in this game. That's kind of crazy. And they get it here. And what a catch. Oh, my goodness. We just can't cover him. Oh, what's going on? What a drive from Hawaii to take the lead. Less than two minutes to go in the first half. What in tarnation is going on here? Extra point up and good. 14 to 7. Hawaii Warriors are in the lead. And Dale yeah, returns it up past the 30. Definitely gonna try some play action infamy. Oh my. They're all over the running game now. Alright, let's see what we got here. The O line can give us enough time to throw it. This might be okay. Nope. You got hit. And it's picked off. Incredible. We're falling apart here in week one. of three. Man. Just keep getting wide open. Third down and two for Hawaii. for this offense now. I snap. And overthrown. Alright. Can't make a play on the ball. That's another big play for Hawaii. Woodard. Oh, my goodness. Hawaii is just cruising right now. Woodard didn't even get his hands up. one we blocked one boys <laughs> holy smokes Pruitt blocks the extra point 
Let's go. It is possible. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. The blocked kick. Russell Wilson's bench for the rest of the year? What? That's crazy. Oh, man. Look at this O-line. Ugh. You know, I, I think we might just go into the half here. It's looking a little rough, boys. Malone catches it inside the 30. Okay, we get some passing yards finally. All right. Too bad we have to go on defense now. The Hail Mary at the end of the half made our stats look better than they are. All right, we need a takeaway. Wilson's been having a great year. I wouldn't say great. I mean, he's doing, he's doing good. There's a sack. Let's go. Singleton, his third of his career. I'm going to do that blitz, but on the other side with Corbin May. The junior now. Right outside linebacker. Oh, my. Singleton, another massive hit. It's third tackle for loss in the game. Third and 15 for Hawaii. No way. Come on. What are we doing out here? Man, that's terrible. I'm sticking man coverage then. We can't cover in zone apparently. They're picking it apart. There's another huge hit for Singleton. Let's go. Get that. Nice deflection, Calhoun. Broncos are a laughing stock. That's tough. <laughs> I mean, they did allow 70 points this season, so. And there we go. We get a stop. All right, so we're sticking with man coverage because zone is just getting picked apart today. I think we got enough speed out there to hang with these guys. But the problem we're having right now, we need points. We got to score. Dang, offense has to get it together. All right. The tight end in motion. And there's Sanford. Nice nine-yard carry. He's got 71 today. Juke gets a few and moves the sticks again. Down the sideline and a one handed catch from Malone. Let's go. Now we're 
cooking. Malone, 115 yards on three catches. Going crazy out there. And Sanford will pick up four more. Get the first down. It's all right. Fullback dive. Give it to Harding. Should be a first down here. There we go. Harding, he might take it to the end zone. And he does. Touchdown, Bulldogs. We desperately needed that score. My goodness. Jerry Judy doesn't want to be part of the rebuild. I mean, Judy's not very good anyway. He is mid-tier. Kind of like our offense this season and last season. But hey, we're going to figure it out. I don't think Jerry Judy will, but we will. Extra point is up, and it's good. Six-point ball game now. That blocked extra point, that might be huge towards the end of this game. Got to stick with man coverage on defense. We got Texas coming up after this game. They're coming to Starkville. And nice deflection by Barry. The freshman. Option. There we go. Blew that play right up. That was Salazar on the stop. Sticking with man coverage. It's been great last couple drives. Until I mess this up. Covering the slot receiver. Oh no, Salazar! Oh no! Well, you'll have that sometimes. Dang linebacker gets stuck on a slot receiver. Luckily, we tracked him down. That could have been really unfortunate. Let's go defense. Need a pick. And that was not a pick. Judy said he's only going to play for an Alabama quarterback. Oh my god. <laughs> what a diva. He's not even he's not good enough to be asking for stuff like that. Good tackle, Pruitt. Let's go, baby. Number 1 Mississippi State down 6 points here in the third quarter in Honolulu, Hawaii. Not how we thought this season was going to start, that's for sure. Play action. And nice hit by Calhoun. They're down an eight. This will be a big time stop if we can get it. Like for these defensive linemen to do something. No way. Oh my goodness. Man. First and goal, Hawaii. Draw play. I got stuck on my own guy. 
Touchdown, Hawaii. Man. They are looking for the upset here today. And the way we're playing, I mean, they, they might deserve it more than we deserve to win. Well, we blocked one extra point so far in this one. Can't get a second one, though. 13 point ball game now. 27 to 14. 147 left in the third quarter. Oh, come on. Just block him for another second, would you? Need our quarterback, Napoleon Watson, to wake up. Hawkins is open. Hangs on to it for the first down. Not sure why Watson threw it like that. Good blocking. Sanford moving the chains, using that speed. He's got 94 yards in his collegiate debut. We're going to send Roy deep right side. No safety help over the top. Come on, Roy. Oh, he overthrew him big time. Dang. Watson's just been off. All last season, now starting this season, he's off. Might be a good run. Here we go. No way he got him. Oh my goodness. That closing speed was ridiculous. They're down one. And Roy drops it. You gotta be kidding me right now. Sanford. We got it. Freshman over 100 yards rushing. He's having a great game so far. He did have the one fumble on the screen pass that we threw. And Roy hangs on for the first down. We're going to go no huddle here. Oh, well, we were going to. Sorry, we'll just come out on the same play. If I can find it. Actually, we're going to go corners. See if I can hit him alone. To the corner of the end zone, and we overthrow him. Dang. Hey, what's up, Marvin? Me and Cass are streaming at the same time. Nice. Love it. Let him know I said hi if you're in his chat. All right, second down and ten coming up. Run, Watson. Look at this. Look. Oh, my goodness. Inside the ten-yard line. That'll end the third quarter. We're down 13 to the Hawaii Warriors. It's 27 to 14. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. We are struggling right now. Great drive, though. Nine plays, 67 yards. Here we go. Good blocking. Sanford down to the three. We need 
touchdown here. Desperately. Oh, we don't get it. Watson down to the one yard line. Oh, no. Fullback dive time. Man, he was so close. Come on, Harding. Harding is in. Touchdown, Bulldogs. We really needed that. My goodness. That was a big-time touchdown. With the extra point, we're still going to be down six points. It's up and good. 27-21. Six minutes to go. Hawaii definitely came to play. I was expecting them to, you know, put forth a great effort, but I was not expecting this. We need a takeaway now. It's a nice stop in the backfield by Singleton. And they're going to throw it away. Third down coming up. This would be a huge stop for us. One that we desperately, desperately need. Come on, boys. There we go. All right, we get the ball back. Okay, has given us a shout out. Love to see it. That's what friends are for, baby. If you guys aren't subbed to him, definitely go check out his channel. Michelle. He does all sorts of stuff. Okay, Hawkins breaking a tackle. Okay. Tackle by the safety. Dang. Trying to get Sanford in the open field. We were so close. Let's go halfback tackle. Here we go. There's holding. Who's it on? It's going to be on Burris, one of the freshmen. That is unfortunate. Alright, what shall we do here? Let's go quick slants. Nick Saban acts more like a dad or a grandpa. <laughs> hey, sometimes that's alright. Malone, up the middle! What a play! He's having a great game. 139 yards on four catches. Definitely the go-to guy today. Everybody else is kind of struggling getting open. Let's try post-corner combo on the right. Nobody's open. Oh, he's got a beat, though. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Let's go, Malone, baby. Holy smokes. What a throw from Watson over three defenders. The extra point will give us the lead. 
Good morning, Amethyst. What's going on, brother? Good to see you, man. Extra point is up and good. And because of the blocked extra point that we had earlier, we take the lead. If you guys didn't see that, I'm going to try to figure out how to do uh, shorts on the channel. And put that block extra point as its solo you know, video by itself. Because that was pretty. Alright, 28-27. We got 4.06 remaining in the game. Draw play. Man, nice spin there from Harrington. He's going to pick up about 6. Second down of four. He's open. Oh, and an overthrow. Okay. Let me go back to three four. It might be a little risky, or four three rather. Might be risky, but let's see what happens here. Blitz a linebacker. I got stuck on my own defender. No, stay in bounds. Oh, Pruitt forces the fumble. Just couldn't get there in time to recover it. Man, that's tough. You know, see NFL coaches growing a bond. I don't know if that's true. I mean, it's definitely more the case in college, but there's some great coaches in the NFL. Oh, my goodness. I just got stiff-armed in the next week. Wow. Well, there's definitely coaches in the NFL that create some pretty good bonds. Especially the younger coaches. Guys like Mike Tomlin, too. He is a player's coach. Just woke up, thought you'd see if I was live and I made your morning. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Alright, so if we can get a stop here, you know, maybe play some defense. That would be kind of nice, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd do a, a longer stream today, start off Season 8. That was almost a great catch. But we're going to do six games here today. So I'm still on vacation from work, so... I got time, baby! Come on, defense. Draw play. I outran it. That's the thing about Pruitt, is if I outrun the play in one little direction, I'm not catching back up to him, because Pruitt is not that fast. But he does get a nice deflection there. That's a huge play. Watching two streams and the bowl game on ESPN? Nice. Can never have enough football, Marvin. All right, we got a fourth and six. This is a huge play for the Dow defense. Come on, boys. And I think we stopped them. Did they give him the first down? We got it. All right. That was a huge stop. Now let's try to run the clock out and get out of here. <laughs> Escape with this win. Come on, Sanford. There's another good run by the freshman. He's going to pick up seven. What day does Miami play, Marvin? I can't remember. Might be tomorrow. Come on, get that block. Get that block. Or not. Still a good run from Sanford. Beautiful debut from him. Let's try to draw a play. This probably is not going to work at all. Ah, 
I still got a few yards out of it somehow. 143 yards for Sanford. And Robbie Ballard is now in at halfback, the senior. He'll pick up four. All right, let's go fullback blast. Give it off to Harding. Virginia Tech versus Tulane in the Military Bowl. That should be a good game. There's Harding, the fullback. Escapes, stays in bounds, and gets to the 20. Should be enough to put it away. Now, next game versus Texas. Uh, we do not want to play like this. And Hawaii going to finally uh, start, start calling their timeouts now. And that was their last one, actually. Sanford inside the 15. Third down and four. Would like to just get this first down. Run the clock out. gonna get it what a powerful run from Sanford they're gonna give Hoofnagel the player of the game even though Hawaii is gonna lose this one 28 to 21 is gonna be the final the blocked extra points <laughs> was the game winner from Pruitt Watson going to kneel it down. And that is it. What a way to start the season. A one-point win in Honolulu, Hawaii. Offense struggled a little bit. Defense was definitely struggling. Couldn't cover anybody downfield for at least two quarters. Figured it out. We blocked an extra point. We're able to get the one-point lead and just hang on to it for dear life. Like I said, if we play like that against Texas in game number two, we are going to be in trouble, boys. Over 260 rushing yards, 214 passing for Watson. We got sacked twice. We had 23 first downs. They had 15. And we were having a hard time converting on third down. We had two turnovers. No takeaways today. You were getting worried in for me? <laughs> Man, you're telling me, bro. I was worried. I mean, they were they were having a lot of success throwing the ball on us. What was it, 20? What was it, 27 to 7 at one point? No, 27 to 14. It blocked extra points, though. That's the difference. It got us the dub. Sanford, great debut for Damian. 152 yards. No touchdowns, though. Harding had two, and Robbie Ballard had one. Watson had 10 rushing yards as well. That's kind of crazy. Four broken tackles for the freshman. Ryan Malone uh, was balling out. He had the nice touchdown in the corner route. Five catches, 167 yards today. RJ Murphy, two pancakes. Singleton had seven tackles. Woodard with five. Pruitt and Salazar each had four. Seven tackles for a loss for the defense. Four for Singleton. He also had a sack. No interceptions. We had six pass deflections. 
force fumble by Pruitt we could not recover. And a block by Anthony Pruitt. He had a pretty good game. No field goals. One punt for 50 yards. Inside the, I think it was at the five-yard line. All right, let's go take on Texas, boys. See what happens. Man, I can't believe we almost just choked it week one against Hawaii. Number one team in the country, and we almost just fell flat on our faces. Gonna save it quick. If you guys haven't already, slap that like button and subscribe if you're new. And join the Discord. There's a link in the description for that. Also, how you guys like this little graphic here, huh? Shows you what games we're playing. Hawaii, Texas, Ohio State, USC, LSU, and Vanderbilt. So each, each stream we do, there will be that, that white line underneath highlighting which games we play. And we always play at least two. But tomorrow, I'm not sure how many we'll play. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. See how I feel. I think pass blocking is our, our big issue. Well, we do have four out of the five offensive linemen are true freshmen. Or not true freshmen. Um, we have three redshirt freshmen and a true freshman at center. Our left tackle is the only upperclassman. Look at this. Number one, Mississippi State hosting number three, Texas in Starkville. They haven't played a game yet, of course. But look at the overall rankings. Uh, we're all A minuses for us. And they're all B pluses and an A minus defense. So this should be a good one. Get our sound on here. See what they got to say to our coach after his 76th victory in his career. If you score more than the other team, you win. It's simple. Wow, oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. Really good stuff there. All right, let's get it. I'm ready. Florida State lost to Virginia in overtime. That is so unfortunate for them. Yeah, this offensive line is going to be really good in the next few years. Uh, this season it's going to be some growing pains, I think, especially pass protection. Let's get it, boys! But the run blocking, I mean, run blocking was fantastic. Even with four freshmen. I'm hoping that our left tackle stays uh, for his redshirt senior season as well. That way we can have the full offensive line uh, from this season going into season nine. Because we'll have a new quarterback. We'll, we'll definitely need to have a great left tackle for a new quarterback. Not sure who the quarterback's going to be. It might be Pace. It might be Bond. I don't know. Scott Field, located in Starkville, Mississippi. The battle cry for this college football showdown. And it's going to be a hot one out here for today's game between the Texas Longhorns and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Brad Nessler, Lee Corso, and Kirk Herbstreet along with you. And we've got a great game of football lined up for you as the college football season continues. And I'll tell you what, Lee and Kirk, I am ready for this game. Kirk, how do you see this one? This really looks like a deadlock. This could go to either team. You know, I think in a game like this, you need to look at the big playmakers. Mississippi State has an impressive-looking young man at wideout. Watch for them to go to him early and often in this one. He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. Not so fast, my friend. Wake up. Texas has receivers that provide some matchup problems for this secondary. I'd watch for that passing game to come up big today. They win this one. Close. Thank you, guys. The team captains are on the field, and this game is about to get underway. All right. Well, the guys are kind of deadlocked and not really knowing who's going to win this game. So it should be a fun one. We're going to kick it off to start. 
This guy who scored two touchdowns is our fullback. Yeah, it's Harding. He's our redshirt senior fullback. Plays with him, we're going crazy. Absolutely. All right, Brad, settle down, buddy. Yeah, that's why I wanted to incorporate more I formation sets this season, so I picked Miami's offense. Previous two seasons, at least, we were running Texas Tech's offense. Oh, nice tackle. But I really wanted to get our fullback involved more. He had 10 touchdowns on the ground his freshman season. He hasn't had more than four since. Texas receivers are pretty good, according to Lee Corso, so watch out for them. And they're going to run it. First play, Flores picks up a couple. Go three four. Oh no, Corbin. He's gone. Oh my goodness, what a catch by Wilson. Okay. Fullback had fifteen yards per attempt for Hawaii. That's kind of crazy. There's an overthrow from the Longhorns. Yeah, we're definitely going to use the fullback some more. I tried to use him um, a decent amount last season. Just the playbook wasn't really working out for him. Oh my goodness, Calhoun, brother. If you catch that, you are gone, my guy. They're down and one. This is a big play. They're going to throw it. Pressure. And it's picked off by the freshman, Barry. And he might be gone. Oh, he tracked him down at the 18-yard line. Keyshawn Barry, first career interception for the young fella. And the Bulldogs' first takeaway of the season. My goodness. I think that was a fullback that chased him down. What a way to announce yourself to the college football world. And that was an all out blitz for Texas. My goodness. two losses we've had the last two seasons were against our rivals Arkansas and Ole Miss so oh fullback what happened and of course those two games are later in the season for us so if we can get through those two games I'm not worried about the other ten even though Hawaii definitely had me worried last game Back corner to Malone and overthrown. I guess we're kicking a field goal. Try to at least. This will be a 38 yard try for Rick Hayes. His first attempt on the season. So we had negative four yards on this drive. Oh, we got the accuracy. They nearly blocked that. My goodness. Kicks up and good. We're on the board. Credit for a 39 yarder for Hayes. And it's 3 nothing. That was set up by the interception by Keyshawn Barry, the true freshman at number one corner. That's going to go way out of bounds. They have zero time to throw. Yeah, I know it, man. I don't know what's going on. I mean, they are pretty young old line, so they have plenty of time to figure it out. Might just have to stick to running shotgun. For our passing plays. I don't know. 
We'll figure it out. That's a backwards throw. See Bullock, they're gonna lose about five or six yards. I don't know about that play. Alright, second down, 16. Where's he going? Man, that's an overthrow. Barry got lucky. He got beat. We did get some pressure on the quarterback, though, forcing the throw to maybe go a little bit too far. A little bit too much mustard on it. Alright, third and 16, coming up. Yo, what up, Brandon? Jumbo goal line every play? <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I do not like this. Man, what am I supposed to do there? Goodness gracious. Quarterback had all day to throw it. And Pruitt just gets left out on an island. That was a 51-yard pickup for Garrett. Nice deflection by Salazar. Summers, 4 of 8, 99 yards and a pick. They are going to lose yards again. McLean back at the 21 yard line. Loss of five. And McLean has it, but they are short of the six. And they're going to attempt a field goal. Yep, I agree, Brandon. Normal formation would be a lot better towards the goal line. That's why I very rarely run goal line set at the goal line. I'll, I'll try to do like maybe an eye formation or a single back. Texas ties it up 3-all with that field goal. Man, we're just going to down that. All right, let's see if we can get the offense going a little bit. Freshman picks up eight yards up the gut. And nothing doing on that one. Okay. Let's go fullback dive. That's a first down for Harding. Never give it to your halfback from goal line? Yeah, I very rarely do that. Got him. Let's go, Malone. He continues to be the number one guy. They highlighted Hawkins at the start of the game, but he's only gotten one catch all season so far. Just like last year, he didn't have a catch the first two games. And Harding will pick up four. Let's get Ballard involved. This could be a good run. Yeah, maybe not. Kind of got caught on the offensive line. It's still got four, though. Yeah, we'll do the same formation.
If we can get the blocking on this right edge, this could be a good run. Hopefully. It's all right, Ballard will just do it himself. First down up to the 21-yard line, Robbie Ballard. for Sanford. Wide open. Oh my goodness, how do you miss that? How do you miss that throw? You're killing me, Watson. You are killing me. Guy's wide open. He's got one on one on the left side with Hawkins. Third down and nine. And it's picked off. Oh, what a tackle. My goodness. I don't know about Watson this season, boys. enjoying the offense with him under center. We're making a change. Billy Bond, baby. See what he can do next drive. Calhoun, you got to get that. That's the end of the first quarter. Still tied up at three apiece. Second down and 10 for the Longhorns. Number three team in the land. Away. And it's overthrown. My goodness. They set up a screen and throw it deep anyway. Crazy. Calhoun, you're killing me, brother. Oh, my goodness. What are we doing on defense? I mean, what are we doing on offense? Just 56 yards so far. There we go. Nice tackle by Salazar. backwards on this play. What do they keep trying on that play? They're down at 18. Coming up for Texas. There we go. All right, we held them at around the 31-yard line. They're going to try a field goal. See if Lamb can have the strength for this one. Pick us up, and he pushed it to the right, so it's still tied at three. He had the power for it. Hooked at the last second. Wide right. All 
All right, Billy Bond is in at quarterback. His first ever action. He is a scrambler. And he fumbles it. Well, that's not a good start. He got crushed. We'll just chalk that up to nerves. <laughs> this first ever carry. And he threw that into triple coverage. And his defenses definitely came to play today. My goodness. Put Cletus in. Oh, man. Now, right, we're going to roll with Bomb. McDowell picks up four. They're down at six. Play action. And it's dropped. All right, so we get the quick stop. Luckily, that's going to go into the end zone. Still three all. Never like my quarterbacks. <laughs> That's all right. And Roy, that was a great throw. Roy just can't hang on to it. All right, they're down in seven. And freshman. Has the reception. That's Massey, first of his career, up to the 48. And having a quarterback that can move around a little bit, that's a game changer for us. I don't know if this play is going to work out too well. It's a counter. Nope. Linebacker running free. West Virginia is beating... Georgia right now. Interesting. Man. Immediate pressure. Nobody open downfield. Third and 14 coming up. My goodness, our best offensive lineman just gets bullied by Gardner. Come on, drop it. Oh, he caught it. Dang it. It was Western Michigan beating Georgia? I thought it was West Virginia. Either way, it's not good. West Virginia has... <laughs> they haven't been the greatest in this series. Get that. Oh, come on, Barry. Should have had your second pick.
Second down and 10 for Texas. And they're going to toss it right into our blitz and somehow get a couple yards. Flores breaking two tackles. Third and seven coming up. Complete. Another good stop for the dog defense. Here we go, Hawkins. Really good return. First punt return in his career. Still three to three here in the second. That's a late pitch, and Ballard's still going to get stuffed at the line of scrimmage. No touchdown this drive. We bench bond. <laughs> So hurtful. Where's the faith? Here we go, Sanford. Nice stiff arm. And Jukes up to the 11. Three yards per carry for Sanford so far. This Texas defense, they came to play. Sanford is in. Touchdown, Bulldogs. First touchdown in the career of freshman running back Damian Sanford. I guess Bond gets to stay on the field. <laughs> Even though he did absolutely nothing on that drive. He's not fast enough to wear seven. <laughs> Come on, man. He's wearing it because of Doug Flutie, not Mike Vick, all right? All right, here we go. 10 to three is the score now. 127 left in the first half. See if the defense can keep holding strong. Oh, that should have been picked. Woodard, turn your head, brother. That's what he wore 22, but not in the NFL. <laughs> that would have been cool to see that in the NFL, though. Still got my, my Flutie Bills jersey somewhere. And no, I'm not a Bills fan. Oh, Calhoun, what a deflection. Third down and 10 for Texas. the fullback and we're gonna get the ball back here see if Hawkins can get another good return for us that was a really good punt too bad he outkicked his coverage Okay, Hawkins. My Flutie fan because I'm 4'11"? Uh, no. <laughs> I just like to root for the underdog. Alright, 
bot. Let's see what kind of arm you got, brother. Oh, what a catch from Hawkins. <laughs> Deflected in the air. Lays out for it. The second catch of the game. Yeah, Flutie was what? 5'9", five, 5'10", five, five, something like that? I can't remember. Bond, 3 of 4, 69 yards for the culture. And Sanford is in for his second touchdown of the quarter. Two score lead now for the Dogs. Hail State, baby! point up and good so far both touchdowns set up by big plays by Ron Hawkins the wide receiver Second down and five. Looks like they're going to run the clock down, even though they just ran the no huddle. Oh, my goodness. You got to pick that, Woodard. You got to pick it, brother. Put the starter back in at quarterback. They'll probably lose us the game. Good stop. Oh no! Got him for a face mask. Good thing it's still fourth down though. Come on, Hawkins. One more big return, baby. Three dogs on top of the Longhorns here in Starkville, Mississippi. Okay, can't make him miss. Awesome. Gets a couple up the middle. Yeah, this defense is definitely tough. They were just put in bad situations by the special teams for those two touchdown drives. And it's Harding again. Close to the sticks. Third and inches. Size. Got him. Let's go. The hard count by Billy Bond, baby. That was glorious. We got him, boys. Oh, my 
my goodness. He is so quick. Having a rough day, though. Only 43 yards on 12 carries. Harding. It's alright, Infamy. He got that first down, buddy. This is probably not going to work. This is a toss play. Man, only get a few yards. I don't like the toss plays, you know? Even if your running back's got like 150 speed. They just don't work. And there's Ballard. That's going to be a face mask, I think. First down. <coughs> Excuse me. Just had this nagging cough I can't get rid of last couple of days. Just, you know, comes and goes once in a while. And they're starting to stack the box now. Sanford still picks up four. Ballard now in at halfback. Bill Bond needs a mustache. <laughs> Ballard gets three or four. Third and manageable. Coming up. Third and two. Give it off to the big fella. Oh, this should be money. Except uh, my tight end didn't block anybody. Alright, we're going for it. Fourth and two. And we don't get it. That's unfortunate. That was a great drive. Just couldn't get that first down right there. So unfortunate. Texas, Mississippi State will actually happen next season. That'd be nice. Should be a good matchup, I think. Dog's got a new coach. Got some decent transfers in the portal. Man, that was like a four-minute drive. We got nothing out of it. Oh my goodness! Drop pass for <laughs> uh, for McLean. <coughs> I'm dying, guys. I'm just dying right now. They're down an eight. Can we get some pressure on this quarterback with our 90-plus overall defensive lineman, please? It has been such a struggle. He's wide open, and he dropped it. Oh, my goodness. We're not throwing enough. <laughs> I'm afraid to throw it. It has not worked out too well. Hawkins from the 23. Oh my goodness. Really? Come on, Woodard. Idiot. Hit me right into a freaking tackler. Come on, man. That should have been a touchdown. That was a great return, though. <laughs> Dang strong safety. Guess he forgot he was on my team. I don't know. Nice run by Sanford up to the 25. Wow, that was Western Michigan beating Georgia. 23-17 to 17 right now. Incredible. You like that punt return infamy? 
That was pretty nice. I enjoyed it. I'm going to try to go play action. It's probably not going to work, but whatever. Really? Why did he run to the left? Okay. Interesting. Alright, here we go. Third down, 13. Malone could be open. And Dale was open. Hit him right in the hands. Can't hang on to it. I don't know about this field goal. <coughs> I think the longest we've made with Rick Hayes is 42 yards. I didn't get the power or the accuracy on it, guys. Nah. 42 is probably the max he'll ever make. It's alright, I guess we'll just go back out on defense. What in the heck? I like that play. Fake toss, fullback over. Okay. Interesting. Let it rip, fun and gun. Oh, man. Woodard, you are killing me, brother. First you tackle me on our own punt return. Now you're letting this guy get wide open. More defense. Tossing it. And we blitzed to that side too. And I had to run from the opposite side of the field to make that stop. Second down and two. We're closing in on the fourth quarter. Still up two touchdowns. Uh oh. And Salazar makes a stop at the 37. Flores just 24 yards on seven carries so far in the contest. Can't even pump the crowd up right now. Tossing it out again. That's a nice tackle by Salazar. His sixth of the ball game. And that will do it for the third quarter. We're on top 17 to 3 over the number three rated Texas Longhorns. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. Can we win the game of the week? We'll find out today. Second and 11 for Texas. And that bounced off the receiver's helmet. And they're going to get a uh, call for holding here. We're going to accept it. Because why not? All right, second down, 21 to go. Back at the 47. Defense playing really strong today. And Garrett has it for an 11-yard pickup, third and 10 coming up. Summers, 11 of 26, 160 yards on a pick. What in the heck? He's wide open. He goes out of bounds, though. I don't know if he got the first down. He did not. Obviously, they're going to go for it, though. They need one yard. They're probably going to go to the fullback. Right up the gut. Nope, they're going to throw it. Interesting. And Woodard with a huge hit, and we stop him. 
Oh my goodness. That looked like the tackle on Pollard in the Dolphins Cowboys game. Oh my goodness. How? How did he not get there? Crazy. Oh, there's Billy Bond in the open field. A pass midfield to the 47. Huge run for the young quarterback. He's just built different. Six minutes left in the ball game. And there goes Sanford off to the races, and he is going to score his third touchdown of the game. Electric speed. Goodness gracious. Got to that second level, and just they just couldn't catch him. Defensive back took a, a bad angle. So he had no touchdowns last week. And today, he's got a hat trick. Extra point up and good. <coughs> Two plays, 73 yards. 24-3. Sanford has 97 speed. He's a true freshman halfback. He was gone like a girl in a country song. And she took the talk too. <laughs> oh, that's tough. <laughs> that is tough, Marvin. Going backwards. Oh my. Salazar, seventh tackle of the game. I don't know <laughs> what that play is, but it's so awkward looking. Second down, 17. After that loss of seven on a pass play, a completed pass, no less. Passes dropped. These receivers are shook right now. They're making Hawaii look like national title contenders. They're down 17. He's going to take off. Oh no, there's nobody there. Good run by Summers. That was a smart play. We had everybody way back in coverage. I'm going to blitz Woodard off the edge. No, maybe not. Let's go D-line. Get some pressure on him. Coverage is definitely the way to go this season. Hawaii was picking apart our zone, and man coverage has been dominating Texas so far in this one. Doing a good job, for the most part, keeping all the receivers in front of us. Neither team at 300 yards of offense yet. Wilson will move the chains. He's got 58 yards today. And Garrett 
dropped in bounds, and he has injured his back on the play for Texas. Longhorns lose one of their top targets. And we get the sack on the quarterback. There we go. That was, who was that? McCray. Senior right end. We're down at four. Coming up, Garrett out for the game with back spasms for the Longhorns. Oh, he's open. Dang it. Well, that's what happens with man coverage sometimes. McLean, seven catches, 83 yards. Not bad. Not a bad day at the office. Uh oh. He's wide open. What a catch by Wilcox for the touchdown. Texas finally gets in the end zone. But it might be too late. Point up and good 24 to 10 now here from Starkville, Mississippi. It was a 10 play, 80 yard drive. They're going to go for the onside kick. Regear Productions in the chat. What up, Regear? What's going on, man? And Robbie Ballard's going to return this onside kick up to the 46 yard line. Man, Georgia is finally in the lead against Western Michigan. <laughs> I can't really talk. I mean, we struggled with Hawaii. I believe we're taking on Ohio State after this one, guys. So stick around for that one as Sanford almost gets to the outside. He's got 116 yards, three touchdowns in this one. If you haven't already, slap that like button, guys, and subscribe if you're new. Oh, nice tackle by the safety. Doing great. You're just getting off work. Nice. Let's see. What's today? Wednesday. I have tomorrow off. I have to go back for Friday. And then I get three more days off in a row. They should have just gave us the Friday. Oh, what a juke by Sanford to get through the hole and get the first down. Two minutes remaining. And after we take on Ohio State at the shoe, we're going to be hosting USC right here again. Uh, another top five opponent. Hopefully they don't lose before our game. I think that's in week five. So it's our fourth game. Second down and nine for Mississippi State. Definitely a good win here today against Texas. Really solid team. Number three in the country. And we just came out, and uh, our defense played solid all game. And our rushing attack was pretty nasty as well. Oh, what a tackle that was. Fourth down and five. Yeah, I'm going to do something unusual and actually punt the ball here in enemy territory. See if we can get this inside the 10-yard line. Get down there, boys. Good punt and good coverage by 
Dinky Caldwell and Robbins down at the nine yard line. Jarred loose, Calhoun on the coverage. Second and ten coming up. They need a quick score. They sure do. They sure do. They are running out of time. Oh, come on. I should have had that pick. Sanford play the game in just his second game of his career. Three touchdowns. And that pass goes backwards. Somehow they get positive yards out of it. They're going to continue no huddle here. This time they do spike it. Third and seven coming up. 24 seconds left. Fourth down now for the number three Longhorns. Summers has thrown the ball 40 times for 250 yards, one touchdown, one pick. He's wide open, and he's going to drop it. That should have been a big-time game. It was a really good throw from Summers. Just bounced off the back of the, <laughs> the uh, receiver's hands, or head. Realized that uh, that Bond is a left-handed quarterback. Took me this whole game. There goes Sanford. Stays in bounds. Stiff arms a defender. Oh my goodness. Man, that was Texas calling the timeout. Yeah, good field goal. Why not? Get Rick Hayes out there, get some more experience for him. More practice. Field goes up, and it's good. 27 to 10, we're gonna squib kick this. second left. And it's going to go the draw play. And that goes nowhere. And let's get the commentary back on if we can. one's all wrapped up. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it was a pretty good game by both teams, but I was really impressed the way this game was won. Mississippi State faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2003. And once again, our final score in this one, Mississippi State 27, Texas 10. Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit signing off. So long, everybody. That was a pretty good win. Really dominant win. 231 yards on the ground for us. Less than 100 passing. Uh, we were just 4 for 10. Sacked twice. 
Only four of 11 on third down. We really struggle there. Two turnovers. Only one takeaway. And we won the time of possession battle. Uh, Sanford having a breakout game. Three touchdowns. Nearly had a fourth one there right at the end. Billy Bond, 3 of 6, 69 yards. No picks, no touchdowns. Damian Sanford, 142 yards and three scores. Two broken tackles today. And Harding, he had 36 more yards. Ballard with 27 and Bond with 26. Nobody had more than one catch. Nobody had a pancake for us. Salazar and Woodard had eight tackles today. Barry with five. Singleton and Calhoun with four. Nobody else had more than two. Salazar with four tackles for loss. Woodard, three. Singleton and McCray with one each. McCray had the sack. Keyshawn Barry had his first career interception. Returned at 60 yards. Almost scored. They had eight deflections as a squad. No blocks in this game. Had one last game, though. Uh, Rick Hayes missed a 45-yarder. White doing good. Two punts inside the 20. And Ron Hawkins had a fantastic day returning punts. Averaged 25 yards per return. All right. Now we get to take on the Buckeyes in the horseshoe. Not sure where they're ranked right now in the top 25. I just know that they're ranked somewhere. Ole Miss wins their first game of the season, beating Vanderbilt 31-24. Notre Dame beats Troy State 49-3. Penn State beats Ball State 44-23. Virginia beats Florida State in overtime in Charlottesville. I like how we had a, a more dominant win over number three Texas than we did against, uh, you know, unranked Hawaii. Kind of crazy, but we'll take it. Yeah, Ohio State's definitely going to be another good test for us for sure. That's why I put them on the schedule. You know, I wanted to have a tougher schedule. You know, this this season is make or break for us. We have to win the national championship this year with the roster that we have. We're going to lose so much talent. You know, a lot of seniors with 90 overalls that are going to be gone after this year. This might be our best shot at it. And Hawaii did win their next game. All right, here we go. Ohio State is number 10 in the country. They're 1-0 on the season. They put up 48 points against uh, whoever they played. Let's take a look at it. They beat Central Michigan 48 to 10. Okay. Yeah, this is a tough schedule that I, I got us early on. So two top 10 schools here. Texas was three. Uh, USC, they were um, runner up in the national championship game last season. So the out of conference schedule is uh, out of this world for this season. Rice is ranked higher than Ohio State. Yeah, a lot of small schools have been ranked very highly these last several seasons. Let's see the standings currently. Yeah, look at this. Uh, TCU. Remember, they're in a small uh, small conference, Conference USA. Uh, UNLV, they're in the Mountain West, and Rice is in the whack in this game. They are a five-star prestige school. So is UNLV and TCU. Maryland's up there. UTEP, they were ranked number one a couple times. They're a six-star school. Ohio State, just a five-star team. Michigan, we beat them in the Rose Bowl at the end of last season. North Texas was ranked. Purdue's up there. Georgia lost to Western Michigan 35-34. to The defending champs go down. Colorado State's up there in the rankings. Colorado State, they traveled to Syracuse 
I think it was last season. Uh, no, actually, it was season six. They traveled to the Carrier Dome and beat number one Syracuse at the time. So they've been having some really good seasons. Mid Tennessee State's ranked. There's Syracuse. LSU jumps into the rankings finally. They've been having a rough go over the last couple seasons. And Southern Miss, they've been ranked several times as well. So it's really fun seeing all the smaller schools get in there. Make sure our sound is on. Oops, that's not what I wanted. All right. Mississippi State, Ohio State. Game number three of season eight. We've been rolling with Miami's playbook. And yeah, we'll go with the red pants. Maroon, sorry. All right, let's get it, boys. Small schools are coming for me. Yeah. I mean, even, you know, in our national championship game in season three, we played uh, Central Florida. And that was an all-time classic game. If you haven't seen that yet, you definitely got to go back and watch that one. I believe it's the highlighted video on the channel. Back when I was editing videos, which I will never do again because it's just so much work. We're in the Horseshoe, Ohio Stadium, here in the capital city of Columbus, and they get set to host this exciting football contest. And we've got more rain in the forecast for today's game between the Mississippi State Bulldogs and the Buckeyes of Ohio State. And here come the Buckeyes. Hey, football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Looking forward to another great matchup here early in the college football season. If you compare these teams on paper, they really look to be pretty equal. Kirk, what do you think? Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. Mississippi State has an impressive-looking young man at wideout. Watch for them to go to him early and often in this one. He's the big play man in this offense, so look for him to step up and be the difference. That's a nice pick. Nice pick. Ohio State has a good defense. But I think as good as their defense is, they will have a hard time defending this kind of running attack. I think they'll play well, but not well enough, sweetheart, to win this ball game. Thanks, guys. Looks like we're going to have an action-packed game. So let's get down to the field where they're waiting for the coin toss. Of course, it's a rainy game here in Columbus. Gonna have to protect the football. We are gonna put Watson back at quarterback. If he struggles, I, I will not hesitate to pull him again. We've got a lot of rainy games against really good schools too. Season six matchup against LSU. That game was absolutely bonkers. In the rain, of course. Lots of fumbles in that game. Crazy ending. Buckeye's going to come out, play action wide open, and they are well off target. Blitz a couple linebackers here. really love about these older games especially 03 and 04 you know the weather really affects the game more bad passes more fumbles guys slipping and sliding everywhere oh he's gonna take off and Fisher is not gonna get the chains moving that Cohen on the stop, fourth and four coming up. Buckeyes ready to punt it away. Favorite game was Kent State. 
played Northern Illinois, ended up winning 88 to 87. That's insane. <laughs> that is crazy. All right, let's see what the offense can do. And Sanford crushed after a yard. They know we're going to run the ball because of the weather. Hit four kick returns in a row, two by each team. That's insane. Throw top to Malone. And he's going to come down with it at the 27-yard line. Nobody can cover him this season. Caught by Malone. Breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Beautiful throw and catch. Great blocking as well. Let's see if they just give us some time. We'll be able to find our guys. We have more than half the passing yards we had all last game against Texas. On just one drive. Extra point is up and good. 7 nothing. Dogs on top. Yeah, doing that on five-minute quarters, 88-87, that's, that's so wild. Just no defense being played. defense. Ohio State had a hard time connecting with the receivers on the last drive. And they connect this time. Russell moves the chains at the 33-yard line. His first of the game. Nine yard pickup. And we get the sack. Let's go. Singleton. His first tackle of the day. They're down at six. Had to keep going for two just to get ahead of them. Yeah, I've been in games like that before. My defense. Hold strong, boys. Let's go, Salazar. Defense holds tough. Fourth and six coming up. Ohio State going to punt it away again. Try to get Sanford going. I right, spun the wrong way. Still pick up a four though, I'll take that. Dang. 
even though we're breaking tackles, we're not getting much afterwards because there's so many defenders all around us. Massey and he drops it. That was a good throw by Watson in the rain. Alright, White boot it. That was not a good punt. Not a lot of power on it. Huge tackle by Robbins, keeping him inside the 20 yard line. Had the stats for the punter. I think every punt he's had this season so far has been inside the 20. Oh, nice catch by Herrera. Looked like he dropped it. And was able to find it again. Fisher looking to throw, and this time it's Herrera again. Barry got a little bit turned around on the play. And there's an overthrow. Try to hit the tight end quickly over the middle. Didn't quite work out too well. down Ohio State. Yeah, Woodard, I mean, he got lost in the sauce right there. Found it at the last second, but it was too late. And a quick strike to Martin. He'll pick up six. See if we can get May in there through the blitz on the left side of our screen. Play action. And Calhoun gets beat by Russell. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Extra point will tie it up if they can boot it through the uprights. Oh, we nearly blocked a second one on the stream. Oh my goodness. I would have lost my mind. All tied up, seven apiece here in the first quarter. to our own 12-yard line. Right. Definitely going to be a battle, man. Oh, nice tackle by the safety. Dang. These guys are tackling us on first contact every time.
Nice deflection. I didn't even see him there. All right, they're down an eight. And Watson is absolutely demolished before he can get rid of it. hit by Robbins. I don't know why Horn didn't call for a fair catch. Man. Now we can't cover anybody. Switch it up to zone coverage. Pull back. Nice tackle. And that's going to end the first quarter. We're all tied up. 7 all. Top 10 showdown here. Number 1 versus number 10. How do you not deflect that, Corbin? They're down at one. And they got it. Oh, holding. I will definitely take that. Third and four now instead of first down. Press coverage here. Get some pressure on him, D line. Never mind, we get a bad pass and it's fourth down anyway. And they're going to punt it. Goodness, what a punt that was. Bird downs it at the two. Got to go 98 yards. Sanford gets a couple. Gets a few more. Third down. Come on, Hawkins. And he's got it. Hawkins hurdles a defender, gets up inside the 40-yard line of Ohio State. Yeah, the run game is, you know, kind of been stuffed so far in this one. We're still trying, though. Lost in 3 of 6, 113 yards and a touchdown. Nice tackle. They are all over our rushing game right now. We're going to keep trying it, though. I'm going to try to hit Malone on the corner. He got hit. 
No way. Oh, come on. That is super unfortunate. At least we flipped the field, though. We were at our two. Team having any any luck running the ball. He's toast. Let's go, Corbin. Good tackle for a loss by May. All right, they're down to ten. Go cover two. We're going to blitz Campbell, young middle linebacker. And deflected away by Pruitt at the last second. Oh, my. I would have been devastated <laughs> if he caught that. TCU beats LSU 27-26. What a game that was. Do something. That is that is not what I wanted you to do. At least you picked it up though. All right, we'll take the completion. Barely even get past the line of scrimmage. Gonna go to Harding. Easy money for Harding. Top to Malone, and we got him. Malone is gone. Touchdown, Mississippi State. What a beautiful route and a great throw from Napoleon Watson. Making up for that interception on the last drive. Beautiful play. We've got double the passing yards we had last game already. Extra point. Up and good. 14 to 7 here in the second quarter. to go in the first half. Oh, nice deflection by Barry. Would have been nice to see an interception there. Fisher, great game. 10 of 16, 124 yards, one touchdown, no picks so far. Get him, boys. Perfect blitz call. And it's 31 combined rushing yards in this game.
Rain still falling heavily. Oh, he drops it. Woodard making contact with the receiver, drawing the ball loose. And Buckeyes will punt it away again. Turn by Hawkins up past the 40. Setting us up in great field position. Up to Massey, the freshman receiver, and he's got his first career touchdown catch. Watson just dropping bombs on him right now. And yes, that receiver is six foot five, in case you were wondering. Extra point up. And good. Twenty one to seven now. Bulldogs with a two-touchdown lead. Less than two to go in the first half. Get the sack on the quarterback. Singleton is second of the game. Loss of eight on the play. And that play goes nowhere. Kirk takes a shot. And that's our first timeout. Third and 15 for the Buckeyes. And the goal line set. Just going to hand it off to the fullback. And he gets rocked by Calhoun. Buckeyes crumbling here in the second quarter. Already on their sixth punt of the first half. What a tackle that was. Try to get him with play action. Right up top. And this time it's picked off. I can't move with Malone. What was up with that? I don't know what that was all about. Look at this. I break free from the block and I can't move. <laughs> what the heck? The game cheated me right there. That's all right. Oh, no. Well, that's not all right. Barry saves a touchdown inside the five-yard line. And touchdown, Buckeyes, just like that. One-score game again.
Extra point up and good. 21 14. It's a monsoon here in Columbus. And nice tackle on the kickoff. really like to get this running game working but they've been all over us and Sanford does pick up six and that's one of our offensive linemen Murphy injures his leg on the play I believe that's our upperclassman so now we have five freshmen on the O-line Quadricepi will return though. And Harding, oh my goodness, I don't think he got the first down. Let's give it to him again on fourth down. Why not? Risky play call, but I don't want them to have the ball again. He got it. Alright, we got one timeout left. Oh, we don't have any timeouts left. Never mind. Let's take the first down. We'll go to no huddle. Roy's first catch of the day. 14-yard pickup. He needs to hurry up. Might hit Massey on that corner. We will take a shot to the freshman, and he dives for it. Oh, my goodness. We have to spike the football here. All right. Let's see if we can kick a field goal in all this rain. To be a 38-yarder. <coughs> He's been able to make these so far in his career. I think we got it. Kick is up. And the kick is good. 10 point lead going into the half. 24 14. Bulldogs on top. We get the ball to start the third. Throwing two picks. We got over 300 yards of offense, though. Dale tries to spin, gets dropped at the 24. All right, running game, please. Can we get it going? Nice block. Nice broken tackle. Sanford, he'll pick up nine. Only 35 yards for the freshman in this one. Give it off to Ballard. I believe, Robbie. And he runs over a couple of guys, gets the chains moving. Sanford, he's looking a little tired. He does pick up six yards, though. Second and four. Going up top to Malone, and he's got it again inside the 20. Corner routes are killing him in the rain. 
blown over 150 yards on four receptions. Hail State, yes sir. What's going on, brother? Malone, 10 for 345 yards, three touchdowns. Ridiculous numbers. And that should have been caught. Oh, my goodness. Come on, Hawkins. Oh, what a deflection that was by the linebacker. That is crazy. I thought that Hawkins just dropped it. That is super unfortunate. Third pick of the game for Watson. Still got a 10-point lead, though. Get him. Oh, we hit him, too. That's holding. Uh, yeah, I'm going to accept it. Why not? Hey, what up, John? What's going on, brother? Still at work? That's all right. You got your priorities straight. Bulldog football, baby. What's up? I want a safety. Oh, we're not going to get it there. Second down and 11 for the Buckeyes. Come on, get some pressure on him. Oh, they're going to hand it off. That's a counter. Nice spin move. Pena. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no. Woo. What a run that was. Where's that been? Clearly the best run of the game for Ohio State. First down and 10. They are now away from the danger zone. And that pass is dropped by Herrera, who otherwise has had a pretty decent game. I missed. Dang it. Third down and two. Get him, boys. Oh, I missed again. Dang it. I was so close with the dive. Really good drive from the Buckeyes so far. Play action. And nice, nice hit out of bounds by Singleton. Eight play, 47 yard drive, about two minutes off the clock. And that's Going to count as a deflection by Calhoun, I believe, even though it hit him in the back. Third down and five. And he's going to try to take off. He's going to throw it. How the heck did he throw that? Sorry, this holding. We're going to decline it. That's fourth down. Good stop to the dogs.
This defense is so fast for Ohio State. It's like the moment you see that there's a hole opening up, it closes as soon as you get to it. Oh my goodness. Just like that. Hey, what up, Gary? My day was pretty good, man. How about yourself? All right, we got third and six coming up. Got him beat again. And Malone this time drops it. He's been killing him on the corner routes. Just couldn't hang on to it this time. Nice hit by the corner. White going to have to punt it away from his own end zone. Uh-oh. This is going to be a good return. Come on, Tiki, bring him down. There you go. What a catch by Rodgers. Oh, my goodness. Nice one-handed catch by Dyer. He'll pick up three yards as the chain gang gets knocked down. down at four. And deflected away by Pruitt. Huge stop on third down. They're going to try a field goal here. Be a 44-yard try. See if he's got the leg for it. The kick is up, and the kick is good. 45-yarder by Billy Moore. That makes it a one-touchdown ball game now. 128 left in the third quarter. That's five yard carry for Sanford. No blocking for the fullback. Rice beats North Texas 16 to 9 to remain a top 10 team. Third down and seven coming up for Watson and the Bulldogs. Quick strike. Malone. All the way to the 48. Man, he is just so good. 
Doesn't matter what route he's running. Hundred and seventy three yards, that's crazy. One on one coverage. Hawkins has him beat down to the five yard line. Killing the edges of this defense in the passing attack. Hawkins had two catches for 60 yards coming into this game. That's going to end the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat. We're on top 24. 17 over the 10th ranked Buckeyes of Ohio State. Sanford squeezes through for the touchdown. Gives us a two-score lead yet again. I don't think the Buckeyes were very prepared to defend the pass because we haven't been doing a whole lot of that this season, but... Pretty good success so far in this one. Few interceptions, but the deep ball is working in our favor. on the carry and he's going to fumble it recovered by Contreras and he is going to score touchdown Mississippi State a scoop and score for the senior defensive end who forced the fumble who was it can't see the number that was Robbins I think the sophomore corner That might be enough to put this one away. Extra point, up and good. Rick Hayes tacks on another one. 38-17 now in the fourth quarter. Quick score might have demoralized the Buckeyes. Let's see how they respond. You know it's a good game when MSU recovers a fumble? Absolutely. I don't know if you saw the uh, end of the Season 7 stream, but we looked at all the stats. And we had a lot of forced fumbles and fumbles recovered in Season 7. It was really nice. Nice change of pace for us. Season 6, we didn't have a single recovery all regular season. Nice tackle by Pruitt. Neither running back really getting it going here today. Just, you know, each of them have a touchdown, though. Third down and six. Is overthrown. Fourth down, upcoming for the Buckeyes. And they're going to punt it away. Not liking their chances, I guess. Punt number eight of the game. Come on, Hawkins, catch it. And can't make the first guy miss. Tackled immediately.
take the first down. One of the best runs of the game for Sanford. USC is our next opponent of the night. They'll be traveling to Starkville, Mississippi to take us on. And Harding going to pick up five as a flag for holding low on Burris. That'll come back. First and 18. And Sanford picks up about seven. Trying to run this clock down as much as we can. Don't want to get any injuries to our star players. Tennessee beats Utah by a field goal. Third down and nine. Malone is wide open at the sticks, and he gets the first down. He's averaging 30 yards of reception. Rodgers is averaging 23 for Ohio State on his three catches. Here we go. There's the fullback, Harding, inside the 20. Stiff arms a defender inside the 15. Definitely his best run. He had nine yards before that carry. I don't know if we stayed in bounds for that play. Yeah, we did not. And there's Ballard picking up four. Second down for MSU at the eight yard line. Got to get to the three for the first down. Thunder is wumbling. And there's Ballard trucking through some guys. Gets a first down at the one yard line. Let's go with the ISO. Touchdown for MSU as we pour it on now. That scoop and score was really, really the play that broke Ohio State's back. And we are over 500 yards of offense now with that drive. Did we even have 300 against Texas? I don't even remember. Extra point up and good for the dogs. Nine play, 58 yard drive, 316 off the clock. And it's 45 17 Bulldogs.
that's going to be an overthrow. Second and ten. Blitz the corner on the right. And incompletes. Pruitt out in coverage. A slight overthrow. Third down and ten. Coming up. And nice one-handed catch by Russell to move the chains. Six for 92 yards on a touchdown on the season for Russell. And somehow that's caught again by Russell. In tight coverage. Two defenders draped all over him. He's got 75 yards in this game. Counter. And he is walloped. Pretty excited to take on USC after this game. That should be a fun one. USC, they lost to Georgia in the national championship game, end of season seven. So I'm sure their team is pretty stacked. Oh my goodness, another huge hit by Salazar on Pena. And obviously they're going to go for it. Down by a lot, fourth and seven. And Pruitt jars the ball loose, incomplete. Be able to get out of here with a dub. One minute left. Time to run the clock out and then go take on the Trojans in Starkville, Mississippi. Oh, nice block. Sanford is loose. Breaks the tackle, gets up to the 33-yard line, and that gets him 100 yards rushing in the game. By far his best run of the day. I don't know why they're showing Fisher's stats for Ohio State. Since we're on offense, but that's okay. This will be the final play of the game. And Harding spins forward and gets a yard. Malone player of the game for the Dogs. Six catches, 183 yards, and two touchdowns receiving. Stick around, folks. The USC game should be a lot of fun. I'm hoping that they win because that game's in week five, so I think we have a bye week. And then we go... Well, and then we're home against them. Mississippi State gets the dub 45-17 over Ohio State here in Season 8. Big-time win for our program. Buckeyes were ranked 10th coming into this game. Definitely had a slow start to the season against Hawaii. Offense struggled against Texas, but the defense, defense has been the big difference so far this season. And rightfully so. We have, what, seven... I think we have seven players, 90 overall, on defense, maybe six. And we had well over 500 yards. They had less than 300. A lot of ours was just deep passes downfield. The corner routes from Malone were just killing Ohio State. Had a couple deep balls down the field to Hawkins as well. Massey got his first career touchdown reception, our, our true freshman wide receiver that we got, five-star recruit. And Contreras, the defensive end, rumbling, bumbling, stumbling on a scooping score for 22 yards for the score. Man, that, that really just crushed 
Ohio State's morale, I think. Hey, we didn't get sacked today. Sanford with a touchdown. Ballard with a touchdown. Harding at 37 more yards. Lots of broken tackles. 12 altogether. Hawkins and Malone balling out. Chad Massey had a nice catch for the touchdown. No pancake. Salazar, nine tackles for the middle linebacker. Woodard, Robbins, and Barry each had four. Nobody else had more than three. Five tackles for a loss. All by linebackers. Two sacks for Earl Singleton. No interceptions. Three deflections. We had a forced fumble by Ken Robbins. Mr. Brock Contreras with the touchdown. Hayes made a 39-yard field goal today. John White uh, did pretty well punting. 44-yard net average, one inside the 20. And that's it. Let's go save it and take on the USC Trojans, who I believe are a top five school at the moment, unless they've lost, which, you know, I, just, I really hope that they haven't lost. I would be devastated. But I'll be right back while this saves, guys, and uh, we'll get into the game. Simulate the rest of the week. And we do have a bye week. USC is still undefeated. Hopefully they do not lose here in week four. Let's see who they've got. If they have a game at all. Let's see if Tennessee can beat Indiana. And they do. Come on, where are they? Should be a good game. Oh my goodness. Right, still undefeated. 38-35 over UTEP. Alright, UC USC does not have a game, so. Let's see what they have to say to our coach real quick. Fans are pleased. Yada yada yada. Alright. Alright, so USC is going to be undefeated. It's gonna be number one. Versus number two, unless uh, one of us gets jumped somehow. I don't know if Tennessee will jump him or not. I hope not. All right, here is the matchup. 2-0 Trojans versus the 3-0 Bulldogs. USC, uh, top 40 for everything. Top 30 for most. Our turnover differential is god-awful. We need to fix that. Wow. But the offense is pretty good this season. Ninth in the country. Trojans 25th. Both teams like to put up some points. We average 33 a game. They average 32 and a half. Let's make sure we got our commentators on. Let's get it, boys. going with the all maroons. Let's get it. I've been looking forward to this one. USC has been really good these last few seasons. 
Ohio State, they've been kind of hit or miss, so I wasn't too sure about that being a great game or not. But it's always fun to beat Ohio State, especially in the horseshoe. And the Texas game was good. Our defense was lights out in that one. The Hawaii game, that really shocked me. But we were able to get the dub. Scott Field, located in Starkville, Mississippi. The battle drive for this college football showdown. And we couldn't have asked for better weather for today's game between the USC Trojans and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet. And let me tell you, this has been a non-stop, hard-hitting football season so far early in the year. And we hope to continue that as the season goes on. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Well, in a close matchup like this, I always like to look at the individual. Mississippi State is going to attack this defense in the air. And I'll tell you, this is the key to the game. If their quarterback has time to throw, he'll have a huge game today against that vulnerable secondary. I can tell you one thing I know about this game. USC has no chance in this one, my friend. What you're going to see is that secondary get beat all day long by that quick strike passing attack. Mark it down. We're hoping for a great game. Guys, let's get down on the field. The team captains are ready for the coin toss. All right, so they're thinking our passing attack is going to win us the game. But looking at Watson's stats, uh, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> Ground game has been really what's helping us. You know, even last game, we had a lot of passing yards, but we threw three interceptions. So, I think the key this season is to rely on the defense, hold strong, try to get some takeaways, and try to keep our ground game working. I mean, we can win if Watson has to throw it a lot, but we're also going to throw a lot of picks. We've already got five on the season. I whiffed completely. Oh my goodness. That's not a good start. Get him, boys. That was a big hit by Singleton. First down, Trojans, though. Right. Number one, Bulldogs versus the number two, Trojans. There's a big hit from Corbin May. The sophomore, that play goes nowhere. Loss of two. This crowd is going bananas so far. Nice tackle, Pruitt. Alright, let's blitz. Pruitt, oh my goodness, what a tackle that was. Let's go. Huge stop. All right, Hawkins from the 12-yard line. Dukes out two guys. And gets dropped at about the 34, and there's holding. Oh, clipping. Even better. Wait. They just declined that. What? Why'd they decline that? I don't understand. <laughs> what the heck? Try to catch him off guard with an option play here. That's not going to work. That definitely didn't work. 
All right. Back to the drawing board on that one, huh? And that pass is incomplete. And USC with the rare black quarterback before this, uh, historically. I think the only black quarterback they ever had was Rodney Pete. Oh, what a catch by Cook. How do I <laughs> how do I defend that? Come on, man. Salazar, nice tackle at the 10-yard line. USC, number one in red zone scoring, 100% on the season. And they're going to score again. They are still perfect in the red zone on the season. That was totally our fault, my fault, for, uh, you know, picking an option play, fumbling the football. Not a great start to this game. Extra point up, and it's good. 7 nothing. Trojans on top. All right, Robbins. That was a huge hit. My goodness. And Sanford will pick up six. Wow, they give him eight yards on that? Okay. Yeah, it was about seven and a half. Ninth ranked offense in the country. Oh, nice block. Oh, and then he let go of him. And there's a face mask. Thought that was going to be another holding call. We'll take the extra five yards. Dropped by the linebacker, maybe two yards. Second and eight. Good run from Sanford. Third down and one. You know we're going to go to the fullback. Not gonna get it. No huddle. Let's go. This should be easy. And we got it. All right. Oh my goodness. Good lord, they are all over us. They just instantly knew we were doing a pass play, huh? And we got crushed. Even with Watson breaking through one of the sack attempts. Also seven. Throw top to Massey. And nice deflection. Yeah, 
Yeah, this drive is a wash now. Unless we can hit Malone on the post. And that is going to be deflected away. Really unfortunate. All right, White. Need a good punt from you, man. That's decent. And inside the 20 yard line, another good punt. Bulldogs just 16 yards of offense in the first quarter. And a lost fumble. Oh, I should have had the pick. Oh, my goodness. Good hit by Barry. Second down at 10. Option. And that was really well defended by the dogs. See third and eight from the thirteen yard line. Oh, come on. Come on, Barry. O'Donnell moving the chains for the Trojans. That's my fault. I shouldn't have left the freshman corner one-on-one -on -one outside. Sometimes you just got to trust them. Though. Man, that toss play goes nowhere. Wagner is going to lose two. Let's go defense. Play Woodard. <coughs> All right, third down and eight. And wide open, but an overthrow, and USC will punt it away. Robertson's last punt was a 47-yarder. Now kick the coverage. And that's not the case this time. Hawkins will have to fair catch at the 27. Final play of the first quarter. Pick up four. Trojans on top seven to nothing as we head into the second. In this number two, number one matchup. And Sanford close to the sticks. Third and inches. Let's go to Harding, the fullback. Man, that's easy. First down up to the 49. Good run by the big fella. He's got 24 yards on five carries. Guys are fast. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, second down and ten. Here we go. Oh, how does he make that tackle, Harding? How do you not block him, man? Third down and two now. Ballard 
Pollard is going to move the chains. Just barely. To Malone, and that's overthrown. Anderson can't hang on to it. ourselves in a pickle here. Third and ten from the 40. And Massey, the freshman, is going to move the chains. Huge catch by the young fella. And another one-handed catch. And he breaks a tackle inside the 15. Feed that young man. Wide open is Massey, and that was his drive. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Second touchdown in his career. My goodness. Great drive from the Bulldogs. Extra point will tie this thing up. Rick Hayes kicks it up, and it is through 7-all in the second quarter. That was an 11 place, 74-yard drive. Took two minutes off the clock. By far the best drive of the game for either team. snap for the quarterback. Oh no, Woodard. Dang it. Wong all the way to the 36 yard line. We got pressure on the quarterback. It was just too late. Just like that, Trojans in Bulldog territory. And that is another overthrow. Quarterback just uh, a little erratic today. Pump, 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 pump it up. Oh, nice tackle. Weber gets one yard. 39 coming up for USC, the number two team in the country. And that play is going to go backwards. USC going to go for it, 4th and 11. And he is not going to move the chains. Calhoun brings him down after the reception. And we have plenty of time on the clock to get a drive going here. Four minutes left in the first half. goodness. Let's go with a fullback blast. There we 
we go. And run Harding about five or six yards. And they're down to five coming up. Watson escapes and evades the defender for the first down. Right up the middle. That was a great block right there from the freshman halfback to protect his quarterback. Ballard getting a carry. He'll get four. Malone. Oh, false start on the left guard. That's unfortunate. Okay. And Ryan luckily recovers the fumble for us. Watson took a massive shot on that play. Third and 18 coming up. That young offensive line. Not doing a great job. And eh, we'll just get rid of it. My goodness. Immediate pressure again. White on to punt it away from the 40-yard line. That was not a great kick. Still inside the 20, though. Less than 250 yards of offense combined in this game. Defenses came to play. Pullback. Nice tackle by Singleton. Just a two-yard carry for the fullback. Hand it off again, and Pruitt manages to bring Wagner down. But he does move the chains. And Cook, another short reception. Just three yards on the catch. Where's he going to throw that? He's going to throw this one out of bounds. Actually had some good pressure on him that time. Third and seven. We're going to blitz again. is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Bulldog defense stands stall. This stands real tall. Bunch of giants out here. Come on, baby. Alright. Can we block a punt? Probably not. Block an extra point, though. Oof. So close. Let's go, Hawkins. And he gets crushed at the 50. What are we doing here? Try to corner route to Post Malone over here. Oh my goodness. Lucky we got anything out of that. Hey, what up, Doyle? What's going on, buddy? Posted this on your Twitter because somebody wanted Mississippi State content. Nice. 
Appreciate it. And there's Malone, first down. Where is my right tackle? Hello? That's unfortunate. This defensive line is all over us. Alright. Second down, 16 to go. And that's going to be caught by Malone to the 21. No huddle, please. No huddle. Up top, back corner, Massey, touchdown, Bulldogs, a six foot five freshman comes down with the score. Man, what a drive that was. Eleven seconds left in the first half. And we take the lead. Extra point from Rick Hayes is up, and it is good. Yo, what's up, Noah? You son of a gun. Good to see you again, man. I miss you, baby. Love the throwback logo. Yeah, me too. It's all just so good, man. That's going to do it for the first half. We are on top, 14-7, to in the battle of the top two teams in the nation in the game of the week. Hey, Noah, I'm bringing back uh, Arena Football as well, buddy. James Hickenbotham will return, all right? Everybody prepare to taste the terse. You know. You know what's up. Front seven is so good for USC. <laughs> Taste the terse, baby. <laughs> I still got that meme somewhere. I got it. Oh, look at the block. Come on. Stiff arm. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, I think that's in the Discord somewhere. I thought I saved it somewhere as well, but... <laughs> just great times all around man yeah I'll probably play uh, 10 seasons of this so we're on season 8 right now and after the 10th season we'll probably switch it up go to a different game and how is that picked off my goodness that is pick number 6 on the season for Napoleon Watson Yeah, I can't even remember how many seasons we did for the Knights in Arena Football. Was it just one season? It might have just been one. Either way, we'll play some soon. Just grinding some Mississippi State Dynasty for a while. No way. Oh my goodness. I couldn't switch to anybody near the ball. That is so unfortunate. Let's go defense, time to step up. We know football was short lived. I think it was just the one season, right? Probably one of my 
many times uh, in the channel's history where my technology just stopped working and I just couldn't do anything. Oh, nice catch by Cook. He's all over the field. Wasn't here for a long time, but it was here for a good time. Yes, sir. Remember James Hickenbotham showed up to the live streams? That was awesome. That was really cool. Had to see if we can get him back on the channel. I think that was Tom's doing. Tom found him. And James stopped by and watched a couple of the streams. That was so awesome. Get him! Dang it. This is a great drive from the Trojans. I just have no answer for him. Get him, boys. Oh, that was an easy touchdown. Oh, my goodness. He walked right in. All right. Well, USC about to tie things up. Yeah, it was definitely a Tom thing for sure. You know, it's cool. I don't know if you remember Ken Topps, Heisman winner for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Um, his son actually commented on a video in the series um, about a month or so ago, and I had talked to him for a little bit. So Ken Topps is definitely aware of this series, which is pretty cool. Our Heisman winner, national championship quarterback. All right, get to the outside. Get that block. Let's go. Stiff arm. Okay, we'll take 13. Take that. This probably isn't going to end well, but we're going to do it. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. They blitzed. They just blitzed to the wrong spot. Sucks to be them. Oh, dang it. I juked a little too far. There was an opening right there. All right, they're down in two coming up. Hey, what's up, Aiden? Just found this channel. Well, welcome, my friend. Glad to see you. Oh, my goodness. Sanford just got absolutely crushed. And I am doing just fine today, my friend. Always nice to see new people in the chat. Hopefully your day is going well. Oh my goodness. Say it ain't so, Robbie. Say it ain't so. Alright. Let's see. Second down and eight. Let's go fullback dive. You got ten minutes left of work, Noah? Dang. That's ten minutes too many, am I right? Okay, Harding. Oh, we're just throwing the defender to the ground like he's nothing. Like a sack of taters. All right, they're down three. We're going to run it again. And yeah, we're getting closer to our goal of uh, 1,400 subscribers by the end of the year. Oh, my goodness. Ballard ran into a brick wall. I think we only need 20 more subscribers, which is kind of crazy. I'm going to punt it away again. Dang it. It's all right. White, probably one of the best punters in the nation. Let's see if you can't get another one inside the 20. Uh-oh. No, nope, that's too much. Get back there. Oh, I got it. No, it bounced in. Dang it. <laughs> oh, man. That's so unfortunate. Is there any particular reason I chose Mississippi State? Well, at the time, uh, let's see, I started this series 
in uh, 2017, actually. February 17th, 2017, I believe I, I started this. I fully named the roster with all real player names myself. And Mississippi State, they had never won a national championship. Uh, I love Bulldogs. And it was between these guys and one other school. I can't remember who it was. Uh, but I ended up asking my, my oldest brother, you know, what he thought. And he said Bulldogs. So, that's why we're here, man. Yeah, this, uh, this series started this channel off. Come a long way. Oh, he's wide open. That's not good. Oh, no! Get him, Barry! What are we doing? Somebody covered the wrong spot. <laughs> I'll show myself out. That's fine. Fresno State. Was it Fresno? No, it wasn't Fresno State. That wasn't my other school. I can't remember. I'll have to go back through. I have a notebook with all my series ideas in it. I did a Houston Texans franchise right alongside this one. Did five seasons of both. And then we ended and went to NCAA 04 afterwards. And I'm still... I've saved every draft class these last few seasons for us. So if I ever do decide to go back to the Houston Texans franchise, we will have draft classes from this series still. That's it for the third quarter. All tied up at 14 apiece. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. This is a good one. In Starkville, Mississippi. This is our year, boys. We got preseason ranked number one. Had the best recruiting class in the country. We cannot go through this season without a title. And I don't know how we just stopped Wagner right there. So that was a huge play, and they're going to kick a field goal. That That is a massive hold on third down. Yeah, if you haven't watched this series from start to finish, I, I highly recommend it. And that field goal is up and good. USC on top now, 17-14. But if you do decide to start the series from episode one, uh, just, you know, just bear in mind, my commentary was not very good originally. <laughs> Come a long way, though. And there's a lot of great games. Come on, Desmond. All right, that was not great. All right, we're throwing it. I'm going to throw it. Dang it. Who are we going to? Roy? Hawkins? I think we're going Hawkins. Free safety is a little far over to the right. Come on, Hawkins. Get there, brother. He got it. Breaks a tackle, and he's inside the 30. you love to see it. There's not much Dynasty content on YouTube aside from 06 to 14. Yeah, you see, 06 and 14 are just overrated, in my opinion. Oh, here we go. He's got him beat back corner. Oh my god! Malone, touchdown! We take the lead! This dude is a dog! Oh my god! <laughs> what the heck? He is our playmaker. Look at that catch. Gets the left knee inbounds in the back corner. Now let's talk about the throw from Napoleon Watson. You know, the senior quarterback just dropped that in a bucket. And we take the lead. He's got ice in his veins, boys. Woo! Six minutes left in the game. Yeah, I love 03. 03 is really great. 04 is my favorite. 04, 04 is like by far my favorite. It's not even close. 03 is probably my second favorite, I think. And I think I'd have 06 after that. I've ranked the games before, but 
Uh, don't get me wrong. 06 is great. It's a great game. There's just too many cheese plays. And, uh, I don't know. Just, like, monotonous at times, I guess. It's like you're just doing the same thing over and over again. See, with this game, I don't know how many times I've switched the playbook or switched our entire approach to the offense. You know, we've run we've run the option a bunch. Uh, we've thrown over 4,000 yards in a season uh, with Watson's sophomore year, which was season six. You know, and we just keep switching the offense up to, to match our our players. Which is great. Nice tackle. Corbin May on the stop. Eight straight completions. Can we fix that, please? Somebody? Yeah, we did a uh, North Carolina Tar Heels Dynasty in 04. Did five seasons of that as well. I named the roster for that one, too. There's a good stop. It took like 30, 40 hours to, to name the rosters completely. I did not do that for 05. We did a creative school. So I wasn't I didn't really care about the rosters for that series. And we hit the quarterback. Let's go. We got some pressure on him. That's what I'm talking about. That was May. Corbin May, the outside linebacker. And they're gonna punt it away with less than five minutes remaining in the game. All right, Hawkins. Uh, I'm not going to get a return on that. Dang it. All right. 21-17. Just got to hang on to the football, get a good drive going. Oh, good run by the fullback, Harding. And he's going to pick up 16. Up the gut. He's got 57 on nine carries. He's having a hell of a day. USC just kind of fell asleep at the wheel on defense on that play. Yeah, Aiden, you're going to see a lot more football on here, too. And we're going to bring back our Arena Football League series that we got, which was a lot of fun. As Sanford picks up seven. We actually had one of our star players from our team join the live stream and, and chat with us, which was really cool. But hopefully we can get him back once we bring that series back. And Sanford falling forward. I don't think he got the first down. He's had a rough day at the office. I mean, still four and a half yards of carry. That's pretty good, but unable to break any free. Third and inches. We're going to Harding. And he is going to move the chains. Can we hang on for the victory? Robbie Ballard is in there, and there's going to be an offsides on the right end. Pick the same play. And Ballard met at the first down marker. They're going to give it to him. That was a pretty big collision. Fourteen is only thought so highly of because it's the last game in the series. Yeah, I agree. I like 13 better. Alright, second down and six. Let's go fullback dive. Yeah, 14 got old really quick for me. I like the recruiting better in 13. It's like more in depth. Oh my goodness. Alright, 
They're down six. And 14, it had so much cheese in it. You know, it was like corner routes were unstoppable. There's so many unstoppable routes. And Massey's going to drop that one. That's not good. We are not in field goal range. We're going to go for it. Oh four and oh six are the two best games in the series. I agree with that. I mean, I I like oh three more than oh six, but if we're going, you know, by the favorites, I, I think oh six would be considered top two. Uh oh, Nasty on fourth down, the one-handed catch. Oh my goodness! You only own oh three. I own all the college games. What makes 04 the best? Uh, just everything about it is just, oh, it's just a complete package of a game. Uh, it's hard to describe. The gameplay on the field is just simply the most crisp. I feel like I have full control over my, my players. Oh, there we go, Sanford. The ball physics on deflections are top tier in that game. They've never been as good as in 04. And 03. 03 has it as well. Um, yeah, just the total control of my players. That's that's what I really like about that game. Come on, Harding. That should be a first down. First and goal coming up. That game just has everything that I want out of a football game. Great gameplay. Sports Illustrated stuff's really cool. You know, it's it's hard to cheese that game. You can you can do anything. You can run. You can pass. Oh, here we go, Sanford. This should ice it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Yeah, 06 for me. Like, I don't know. There's something about that game. It's just some things feel impossible to do, and then you know sometimes to win you have to do the cheesy things. And it's like, I don't want to play like that. I want to build my team and build the playbook around my team and have it actually work the way that it should. Extra point is up, and it is good. Great drive, 13 plays, 73 yards. And we are up by 11 points now over the number two team in the land. Stick around after this game. We're starting our SEC play. We're taking on LSU and then Vanderbilt to conclude our six-game stream. All right, here we go, defense. Here we go. And that is... Slightly overthrown. You know, Ford felt like the offense and defense were equal and the play was about your players. Yeah, I, I agree with that. It felt like everything mattered in that game. You know, if you didn't have a good recruiting class, you know, you're not going to put out a good product on the field. You know, you, you need good players to be good, which that's, <laughs> that's how it should be. I shouldn't be able to field a cupcake team and and, and go out and <laughs> and beat Alabama or something, you know, when they have a stacked team. There you go, Calhoun. Good deflection there. Yeah, 14. Too many cheese plays. It's just, it was too bad. I, I, <laughs> I couldn't really get behind that game. Like, I had a series on the channel, but... This is back when I was recording gameplay, and it... Oh, there we go! Calhoun with the interception! And some of my files got corrupt. I tried to bring it back again last year, I think, and... Or this year, rather. And it just didn't work out the way it should have, but... Hopefully the new college game is good. I'm not gonna hold my breath on that, though. Because if it's not, well, I still have all these games that I thoroughly enjoy on the PlayStation 2, and that's that's what I'm going to continue to play. Right. 
Nothing beats PS2 football. Oh, nice block. Sanford breaking tackles. He ended up to the 29-yard line. Just 82 yards on 18 carries today. And third down and four coming up. USC is out of timeouts. I have so many football games. I have every Madden and every NCAA game on the PS2. I got Arena Football. I got... What do I got? I don't remember all the games I got. There's so many. There's Sanford moving the chains. Massey, play the game. Five catches, 76 yards, two touchdowns for the true freshman. Five-star prospect. Yeah, I got Arena. What else do I got? Game Break? Is that what it is? Got one of those games. Those are okay. You don't have much faith in EA? <laughs> I don't think many people do. Hey, what up, John? I'm just going to dive down. And that is going to do it. That was another good victory for us. Three straight against top ten opponents for the number one Mississippi State Bulldogs. As we are on our quest for national championship number two here in season eight. All right, look at the stats. Our defense is just so good. We have so many seniors. We have uh, six starting seniors, I believe. And we have three juniors, a sophomore, and a freshman out there. I mean, this has to be our year. If we don't win it this year, our defense is going to be pretty thin next season. We're going to have a whole brand-new defensive line. We're going to have two brand-new linebackers. We might have three brand-new linebackers if Corbin May uh, goes pro. Which he just might. He's got an 89 overall. But we dominated the Trojans in this one. As far as yards. I mean, we only won by 11, but I think we beat him uh, pretty soundly. Watson, 10 of 16, 194 yards. Three touchdowns, one pick. Sacked twice, long of 56. Look at our fullback, 64 yards. We definitely found a playbook uh, to suit him. And next season, for season 9, we have a young freshman fullback that we redshirted. Uh, he's a very similar player build to Kenny Harding. Uh, so he'll just pick right up where Harding's going to leave off for him. Uh, one touchdown for Sanford. He had four broken tackles. Young receivers balling out. Massey with two touchdowns. Malone had that ridiculous catch on the corner route in the back of the end zone uh, for the touchdown. Two drops for Massey, though. But he'll, he'll work on it. Salazar and Singleton with seven tackles. Woodard at six. Pruitt, four. Barry, three. May, two. Everybody else had one. Three tackles for a loss for the defense. No sacks in this one. Calhoun had the pick late in the game. Barry had one deflection. And that is it for this one. John White continues to be outstanding punting the football. And Hawkins had a 21-yard partner turn. All right, let's go take on LSU, shall we? Get our SEC action started. And we will, of course, save it as we do on the PS2 in case something awful happens. And I will be back in a moment.
All right, I am back. Dirty Creek Sports, what up, Dirty Creek? What's going on, brother? Glad to see you, man. Simulate the rest of this week. And let's see if we can't take out the Tigers. It's been a pretty tough schedule. Our, our toughest game was against Hawaii for some reason. All right, LSU traveling to our house. Starkville, Mississippi, national broadcast game. If you guys haven't already, please slap that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. Look at our stats quick. Watson, seven touchdowns, six picks. I mean, he only threw nine picks last season, but man, I don't know what's going on with the passing game. Rushing, Sanford doing pretty well for himself in his collegiate, uh, his starting season in college. Malone and Massey, the only ones with touchdowns so far receiving. Salazar is having a great season with tackles. Singleton, eight tackles for a loss, three sacks. He had two sacks last season. He's already bested that. Man. McCray has a sack as well. We've only got four sacks on the season. That was McCray's first of his career. Good Lord. Only two picks. We need some more takeaways. We had a lot of forced fumbles and fumbles recovered last season too. Anthony Pruitt with a blocked extra point against Hawaii. Contreras with a scoop and score. Hayes, three of four. John White just... Boom in the ball. Averaging 45.6. Heck of a season from him. He might get drafted. He might just get drafted, boys. All right, we got 79 wins. This will be our 80th if we can defeat the Tigers. Let's get it, boys. LSU, 2-2 two two on the season. There's the matchup right there. We are still awful in turnover differential this season. But, you know, we're trying. We're working on it. LSU, they've had, uh, they had a couple bad recruiting classes, so that really set their program back a little ways. But it's still LSU. We did shut them out 31-0 last season in their house. But... <laughs> I'm not going to overlook anybody. We lost to Arkansas two years ago. We lost to Ole Miss last season, you know. All right, let's get it. Game number five of the night. Give me a shout-out in your last few streams. I appreciate that, Dirty Creek. Appreciate it, buddy. Y'all should go check out his channel as well, if you haven't already. Starkville, Mississippi, and Scott Field, the site for our football contest today. And it's a very warm evening for tonight's game between the LSU Tigers and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Let's go, Dogs. Ooh, ooh. Corso and Kirk Herbstreet welcoming you to another good-looking matchup. We've had some great games so far this season, and this one has all the makings to be another fantastic one. The Tigers are just hoping they don't get humiliated out there, in my opinion, Kirk. Well, I agree with you. I don't think this one will be close at all. Mississippi State has so many weapons offensively, but it all starts with their outstanding quarterback. Now, against this defense, I look for him to have no problem spreading the ball around. This could be a career day. You're 100% correct. Mississippi State is going to throw the ball at this inferior secondary the entire game. This will be an aerial assault from the get-go. And yo, this one could get ugly, Kirk. Thanks, Kirk and Lee. Well, the team captains look like they're ready for the coin toss, so we'll send it down to the field. Not giving the Tigers much hope. I think their secondary is uh, garbage, apparently. 
But we shall see how they perform. I'm more worried about uh, their front seven. Are we going to be able to run the ball against these guys? See how our defense fares on this opening drive. Star running back is on kickoff for some reason. I like it. <coughs> we got Bambi after this one, guys, so stick around for that one. Get him. Let's go. Singleton. Castro loses a few yards. Double teaming the tight end. I, I don't know about that. Oh, wow. Okay. Was not expecting that. They're down at five coming up. Let's go three, four. Tossing it. Get him, boys. Let's go. Nice stop for the defense. That was Woodard. Back-to-back, -back, defensive back of the year award winner, Jared Woodard. Sanders on for his 20th punt. He's got a long of 72 on the season. Goodness gracious. Come on, Hawkins. No, we're just going to let it bounce. What do we want to do? Let's just go dive to start off. Oh my. Oh, that cutback and the spin. Oh my goodness. See, it's plays like that that could never happen in some of these other college games. Or football games, for that matter. Bounce off of a defender. Cut it back quick. Picking up three. Just like that. Third down and one coming up. Giving this to Harding, the big fullback. Check their punter for PVs. <laughs> he might have them, man. And there's Harding moving the chains. Got him beat. And nice catch by the freshman at the 15 yard line. Great route, great throw, great catch. It helps that he's six foot five. Just throw it up to him. He'll come down with it. We average 400 yards a game on this profile. toast. How did we get positive yards out of that? Five yard pickup from Watson with his 46 speed. That was outrageous. And there's Ballard running a couple guys over, dragging a defender up to the two yard line. Nice strong run from the senior. Two and a half yards from Pater. And he's in. Touchdown, Mississippi State. Freshman walks in for six. Nice little hurdle there at the end, too. And we have had LSU's number in this series for the most part. I don't think they've ever beaten us. 
Extra point is up, and it's good. 7 nothing. Dogs on top here in the first. Get him, boys. Man, our defense just swarms to the ball. It's kind of crazy how fast that many guys get there. yards of carry right now. If they're smart, they'll keep running to him. And it's holding. First down and 20. Play action. He's wide open. And Newman, about nine yards shy of the sticks. Stream just hit 100 views for the night. Appreciate everybody that stopped by so far. Great deflection from the freshman Barry. Nice third and eight. Come on, Woodard. You're killing me, Woodard. You're killing me. His first catch today, 18 yard pickup. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. Luckily, he tripped over McCray, or else that was a touchdown. Warner's just so much faster than Pruitt. Perfect play call. That boy is fast. My goodness. Extra point is up. And it is good. Seven all here in the first. Man, nice tackle at the 20. Wide open. First down at the 43. Great corner route. Great throw. Up 
top again. Malone inside the 35. Two catches, 46 yards for Malone against LSU. And Sanford only gets three. Again, he's only going to get a few. They're down to five. Up top, Malone got him again. 22 yard line. First down. That'll end the first quarter. All tied up, seven apiece here in Starkville, Mississippi. Robbie Ballard in at halfback for the Dogs. And he's going to pick up six right up to the gut. Oh my goodness. All right, they're down four. Give this off to Harding. And Harding is short. We're going for it. Got it. No, we don't. Oh, my goodness. Come on, man. Dang it. That linebacker came out of nowhere. And the fumble was just me trying to pitch it to get the first down. Should have kicked a field goal. I knew it. That's unfortunate. Give me the ball back right now. Nice tackle, Woodard. What a beast. Oh my goodness, how does he hang on to that? What a hit by Woodard. Castro's got glue on his hands, I think. And we get the sack. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Atkins. First sack of the season for him. Second and 14. Draw play. And Castro gets a few. All right. They're down to 10 coming up. And it's picked off by Barry. No way he caught that. He was laying on the ground. Got to get a replay of that one, huh? How does...
does he catch this? That's a one-handed pick. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Play of the season right there. By the freshman corner. Keyshawn Barry. That's outrageous. I mean, that was simply outrageous. Come on, Thomas. Get there. Can't get there. I like that matchup, though. One on one. Sanford having a tough time getting going. Just 19 yards. Third down to five, coming up. Wide open, the freshman, Massey. And he moves the chains. Nope. Oh, my goodness. I don't know how he was able to hang on to that one. I thought that was going to be a pick by the uh, middle linebacker. Up top to Roy. And that's going to be incomplete. Whoops. Third down and three. Coming up. Harding is not going to get it again. Dang. This time we'll punt it away. Come on, get there. Dang it. 54 yards punt. Too bad it went in the back of the end zone. Extremely unfortunate. Play action. Where's he going? Nowhere. Sacked by Salazar, his first of the day. Just get <laughs> completely trucked out of your shoes. They're down in one for the Tigers. Trying to upset the number one team in the land. Pull back. He got it. Too easy. And Pruitt crushes Pruitt. Man, that's a big boy. Oof. Big tree fall hard, though. That's not good. Oh, Barry saved the touchdown. Castro doing really well. 8 for 59. I have no answer for him right now. There we go. There's his answer. Just send Salazar on a blitz. Even though I didn't blitz the middle linebacker, he still blitzed anyway. Interesting. Interesting. Luckily, that was overthrown. He had a couple steps on Woodard. All right, they're down at 10 for LSU at the 45-yard line.
No, Woodard. Oh, my goodness. What up, Hammer? You beautiful son of a gun. How I've missed you. Kaufman gets over a thousand yards passing on the season with that throw. And that should have been picked off. Oh my goodness. Just gonna keep trying to get pressure on the quarterback here. Let's go, Woodard. Nice deflection. <laughs> Not as much as you've missed me. I think we missed each other equally. All right, third down and ten. No, Woodard. Oh, what a catch by Joiner! My goodness. Grown out your beard? Nice. Trying to. <laughs> you gotta send me uh, your progress report, alright? Every couple weeks, send me a picture. Yeah, what a drive from LSU. Also, Hammer, you missed it. I, I blocked an extra point in game number one of this uh, stream tonight against Hawaii. You gotta go back and watch it. I don't know how to do shorts, so if you can tell me how to do a short video, I will be uh, forever grateful. So I can just put that on the channel. Oh my god. Oh, he just got flattened. Okay. Alright, here we go. He's got him beat. Come on, Malone. Let's go, baby. Beautiful play. You show me later. Sweet. I appreciate you, baby. Massey, the freshman, has him beat, and he's got it inside the 20. Let's go. And closing in on a thousand yards passing for the year. Uh oh. Oh, what? How did I even escape any of that? I mean, we still got sacked, but still. Also, Hammer, we're up over a hundred views on this stream right now. 105. Oh, my goodness. our second stream over 100 views while it was live all right here we go third down and nine Roy wide open inside the five yard line okay we have one timeout left Top to the tight end. Oh, and he can't hang on to it. Hit him in the hands, too. All right, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? Quick pass to the freshman Massey, our five-star blue chip wide receiver, perhaps. He's wide open. Touchdown, Bulldogs, just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We needed that. I did not want to go into the half losing to them. Extra point is up, and they almost hit my kicker. 
And it's 14 to 14 of the 7th plate. 82 yard drive took 112 off the clock. Castillo back deep to return it. And he will just kneel it in the end zone. Excuse me, I'm dying. I expect a run here, and it's the fullback, Pruitt. All right, that will do it for the first half. It is all tied up. Number one, Mississippi State 14, LSU 14. We were the preseason number one, and I plan on keeping that ranking for the entire season. We will not falter. Need to get our, our second national championship. I need it. I need it in my life. Let's go, Bulldogs. Let's go. I think this is play action. I'm not sure. It didn't say it in the name of the play. I don't know how I got rid of it, and I don't know how Roy caught it, but I'll take it. Goodness gracious. Block, let's go. Sanford picks up seven, moves the chains. Only 30 yards on eight carries today. Oh, almost got through there. Fullback blast. Good blocking. Harding, the fullback, up inside the 45-yard line of Louisiana State. Take a shot deep. Why not? I'm toast. Well, that's, that'll happen when you got four freshman offensive linemen on the field. That's unfortunate. And Ballard only gets a couple up the middle. Third and 13 coming up. tight end. Anderson comes down with it. Let's go. First down inside the 25. Now that was just a beautiful play. corner again Massey the six foot five freshman touchdown Mississippi State too easy I mean how do you cover six foot five man what a monster that guy is and we get him for at least two more seasons after this That puts us over 300 yards of offense and gives us the lead back. Extra point is up, and it is good. 21-14 in the third quarter.
Let's go defense. Man, that is overthrown. Surprised LSU's not running it right now. Their running back has been doing quite well for himself. Oh, there we go. Barry, the true freshman, dropped inside the five-yard line. Nearly had the pick six. UNLV beat Auburn 34-16. My goodness. Georgia beats Rice by six. Keyshawn Barry, second pick of the season. Or third pick of the season, actually. Second pick of the game. He had the insane one-handed pick while he was laying down in that first half. Give this to Sanford. And he is in. Touchdown, MSU. Extra point from Rick Hayes is up, and it is good. 28-14 now. Just a quick strike, just like that. Set up by Keyshawn Barry on that interception. I missed. That's unfortunate. I missed again. We're missing. We're missing all the tackles. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, luckily we got our starting strong safety out there to save a touchdown. And Castro picks up a couple. He's got 61 yards on 10 carries. If I was the Tigers, I would just keep feeding him. He hungry. Second down and eight. He's gonna hand it off to Castro again. And he's gonna pick up a few more. Well, let's do Cheat Strong. Let's put one of our our corners over here. Not on my guy. Not on my guy. And that's incomplete. All right, quick three and out, just like that. And no way Hawkins is going to return that. Nice punt inside the 20, down at the 18-yard line. Bobby Ballard in at halfback, and he's going to fall forward for maybe two. Try to give this to Harding, and he'll pick up three. He's got 26 on six. You get open, brother. Quick strike, and that should have been picked. Quarterback got hit, receiver got hit, and apparently a defender got hurt because of it. Goodness. 
Hines out for the rest of the game with a bruised hand. Come on, man. Rub some dirt on that. Get back out there for your team. And it's picked off by Corbin May. Junior linebacker up to the 32-yard line. His first pick of the season. Wide open. And that's Malone. Touchdown Bulldogs. Where was the corner on that play? I mean, that was a walk-in touchdown for Post Malone. Bulldogs up by three touchdowns now. 21 point game with the extra point by Rick Hayes. The junior kicker. A couple of interceptions by the Bulldog defense has led to quick scores for the Bulldogs. Return it. I dare you. You won't. Oh, you do. Nice tackle, Kennedy. Okay. I like that. And they're going to go quarterback sweep here. And Kaufman will pick up five. Pretty good play for the quarterback. Unfortunate. Just a really good route combination on the left. Got me out of position. Goffman going to hand it off to Castro, and he gets maybe a yard on that run. He's still been the best part of their offense. I'm not sure why they haven't been running the ball a lot more. Quarterback, oh, that was a perfect play call. My goodness. Blitz to the outside, and he runs right up the gut. There's Castro again. Nice spin move, breaking a tackle. Still going, picks up nine. And it's coming back, holding on Lure. First and 16. I just ran right by him. Okay. That's cool. Second down and 12 after the four-yard run by Castro. Play action. Wide open. And Coleman about six yards shy of the sticks. That'll end the third quarter. Bulldogs on top, 35-14 here in Starkfield, Mississippi. Oh, how did I miss that? That's outrageous. Tennessee all the way up to number two in the country.
He's wide open. And his first down up to the 10 yard line for Joyner. Tigers looking to strike. That was Joyner's 10th catch on the season. That spin move was filthy. Oh my goodness. Second and inches, about the one and a half yard line here. We're gonna throw it. It's wide open, touchdown LSU. They close the gap just a little bit. Extra point is up and good. 14-point game now. That was an 11-play, 84-yard drive. Took 321 off the clock. Oh, my goodness. Dale gets closed line at the 25. Can't get him going. Only 80 rushing yards for the dogs in this game. Here we go, Sanford. Whoop. First down. Goes the big fullback. He's going to pick up 10 yards. Need one more yard to get the squad over 100 for the game. And we got it right there. Sanford just 3.8 yards per carry, but he does have two touchdowns, though. Get three. He looks a little tired out there. Bobby Ballard is in at half back, and he gets one. Gonna have to throw it now. Top, it's caught by Roy, and he's got the first down. That was a risky throw, but it paid off. Overthrown. Trying to hit the post route. Didn't quite work out too well. And Ballard somehow gets six yards out of that. Incredible. And 
Brandon Ballard moves the chains, carrying defenders up to the 25-yard line. He's just too strong. back in there at halfback now. The young freshman. But instead, we're going to give it off to the senior. And he gets crushed by the safety. They're down to five coming up. Okay. Try a field goal here. This will be a 39 yard field goal. We can make this if my thumb cooperates. I don't think we got the power on it that we need. Kick is up, and it's still good. All right. 14 play, 53 yard drive, took four minutes off the clock. It's 38-21. All we got to do is just wrap this bad boy up. That's going way left. I don't know. Maybe not way left. We got one more game tonight. We're going to be taking on the Vanderbilt Commodores. So stick around for that one, folks. As that pass is overthrown. Oh my goodness, what in the heck? That actually worked for them somehow. <laughs> They're down to five for the Tigers. 120 left in the ballgame. And it's picked off by Pruitt. Can't stay in bounds, but that's his first of the season. And our fourth today as a defense. I said we needed some takeaways, and baby, did we get them. Three touchdowns, four picks for Kaufman on the day. Sanford goes nowhere. One minute left. Just trying to run the clock down. And Sanford gets another yard. Should be the final play of the game unless they call a timeout. Oh, nice juke by Sanford. No way he didn't get that. They do call a timeout. Watson played the game 16 of 21, 278 yards, three touchdowns. Man, we're going to go for it. Why not? Why the heck not? Excuse me. And Harding gets the first down. He's in the open field. We're just going to dive. And we will be able to run the clock out now. And that is it for this one. Let's turn the commentary on here. First and ten. 
This is the sixth play of this drive. They're lining up in the 5 2. And this ball game's over. Coach, what's your final thought on the game? Well, it's a little closer than most people would have expected, but I'm sure they'll take it. Mississippi State didn't play their best game and they'll admit it. But this is college football where every game counts. And if you win, you're happy. If you lose, you're not. It's that simple. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2003. We hope you join us again. Our final score, Mississippi State 38, LSU 21. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Street and Lee Corso signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody. All right. Well, that wasn't... Uh, it was closer than they thought, they said. So, I mean, what are we supposed to beat them by, 50? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> it's LSU. Pretty good win, though. We only had one turnover. We didn't throw a pick. We picked them off four times. We had 500 total yards. No penalties. I mean, that was a pretty flawless game on our part. And we pulled away there in the third quarter and just didn't look back afterwards. Massey and Malone are just a bunch of studs out there at receiver. I'm telling you. Watson had a beautiful performance today. Sanford, he got, he got shut down a little bit, but he did have two touchdowns. Did not even have a double-digit yard run in this one. Didn't break a single tackle. Ballard broke four on how many carries? On eight carries. Okay. Massey over 100 yards, two touchdowns. Malone, 123 yards and a touchdown. It's like Hawkins is just a decoy out there, as well as Thomas Roy. Salazar and Woodard, seven tackles. May had four. Atkins Calhoun with three. Everybody else had two or less. Five tackles for a loss for the defense. Two sacks. Four interceptions. True freshman had two. That one just uh, laying on the ground, one-handed picks it off. Incredible. And almost had a pick six. Rick Hayes, one of one. They give him credit for a 40-yard field goal. John White continues to dominate punting the football. And that is it for that game. We're going to be taking on Vanderbilt next. It's the final game of the stream today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the stream so far. I know I have. It's been a lot of fun games. A lot of crazy plays. Saw a blocked extra point. Interception while laying down. Just just bonkers stuff. Wow, Virginia Tech beats UL Lafayette 62 to nothing. Miami beats Purdue. Let's go. All right, now I will be back in a moment. Don't go anywhere. back just in time simulate this week and we're taking on 0 and 5 Vandy oh my there's the matchup they're ranked 116th right now uh, looking pretty bad again they they can throw the ball well that is our weakness a little bit this is our pass defense but hopefully we can figure it out We just got our 80th win all time. 80% win percentage. That is pretty beautiful. All right. And this is somehow on TV. <laughs> I don't know how. But we'll, let's see what we can do. And after the game, we'll 
simulate the rest of the week. Do we have the last game? Okay, we do have the last game of the week. All right. All right, let's get it. Well, I do want to go and, and look at the uh, the top 25 and just look at our our player stats halfway through the season after this game, too. So stick around for that if you like stats and all that fun, happy stuff. If not, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. today. Clear skies and just beautiful weather here for tonight's game between the Vanderbilt Commodores and the Mississippi State Bulldogs. And here come the Bulldogs. Hi everybody and welcome to today's game. Brad Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet here with you as we look to piece together the bowl and championship pictures. The Bulldogs confident bunch of kids and rightfully so Kirk this team is just too powerful well I agree with you I don't think this one will be close at all Mississippi State has a big time quarterback who can really put up some big numbers against this defense I look for him to have an outstanding game spreading the ball to his receivers Lee look for a big blowout here forget about it Vanderbilt does not match up well defensively against this passing attack and that's the reason why I think they're going to be out of this one early it wouldn't surprise me one bit if it's over by halftime. Thanks, guys. Let's take it. All right. So they think we should just uh, throw the ball all over the field on them, I guess. Which I'd be all right with doing, but I don't feel like throwing a bunch of picks and <laughs> somehow losing to Vanderbilt. So <clears throat> we're just going to keep going with our game plan, run the ball, try to establish that with our, our running back, our fullback. And if we have to, we'll throw it, of course. But I would like to just be able to pound the rock all game. Yeah, he saw Tiki Caldwell running at him. He said, nope, I, I can't run this out. I can't do it. defense and I couldn't see him all right cool that's my bad my bad home that was Swanson's eighth catch of the year gets him to 100 yards he's also got one touchdown impressive Quarterback's going to take off, and he is somehow going to break a tackle, uh, but loses five yards. And nobody helps up the quarterback. Oh, boy. It's that kind of situation in Vanderbilt, I guess. Draw play. He is stuffed at the 35-yard line. All right. They're down and 11. And that's going to be deflected away. And Pruitt lays a big hit on the receiver for good measure. Establish the run. And that was a good run. Started off. I like it. Sanford picks up nine. Run. 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 And 
ain't got nothing on that one. It's a free runner. Alright, let's go pull back blast. Of course, they know we're gonna run right there. Whatever. Oh my god. Okay. They just picked the perfect play to stop us in our tracks. All right, John. Boot it, buddy. Uh-oh. We don't have anybody down to cover it. I missed. Tiki Caldwell brings it out to 35. That's unfortunate. That was a really good return, and I'm upset about it. And he pays the price. What a big hit by Woodard. Eight yard pickup. Oh, that should have been picked by two players. Come on, man. Third down, and about a yard and a half to go. Tight ends going left side. That'll be my guy to cover. And they're going to get this easy. Dang it. Thrown and out of bounds. Holding the intended target. Second and ten coming up. Oh, Calhoun, what was that animation? I gotta see that again. Look at the animation here from Calhoun. He's like, oh my goodness, super glides over here. And dives for it. He's not even close to the ball. Calhoun, get it together, brother. Man's out here wasted. I don't like that Vanderbilt's in the red zone right now. I'm pretty upset about it. Get him, boys. All right, they're down to two coming up. That's about a yard and a half, I guess. Get him! No way he got that. Oh my goodness. We had him stopped. Alright, let's blitz. Oh, Barry! You gotta catch it, buddy. Come on! I'll blitz him again. Same play. <coughs> I'll blitz the corner all game. I don't care. I'll do it. And that is overthrown. Inside the five-yard line. Third and goal. Or third and ten coming up. All right, we're not blitzing this time. Got double coverage on the outside receivers. And it's picked off by Singleton going to break a tackle, and he's up to the 22-yard line. Huge play from him, first pick of the season for the senior uh, senior outside linebacker. Oh, 
Oh, why did he throw it off his back foot? Oh my goodness. That could have been a disaster. I've tried to run it. There we go. Up to the 38 yard line. Pretty good run for the freshman, Damian Sanford. One on one with Massey, the freshman. And he's got it inside the 20 yard line. You cannot leave a DB one on one with a six foot five freshman. You just can't do it. It is in your best interest to uh, get some help out there. That was a 44 yard pickup from Massey. Oh man, Malone is wide open. I'm upset about it. Here we go. Second and 17. And Sanford up to the 20. Right, this brings up third down and 13. We got to get to about the seven and a half yard line. Roy, wide open. He's not going to get the first down. He was damn close, though. I'm just going to kick a field goal, get some points on the board, finally. I don't want to leave points on the field here. That was a perfect kick from Rick Hayes. 3-0, Bulldogs on top here in the first quarter. Eight plays, 68-yard drive for the Dogs. Hopefully we don't let him get all the way downfield this time. I would prefer an interception here. Or tackle for a loss. That's nice. From Salazar. It's crazy. The plays that he makes in the backfield, I'm not even blitzing him. He's just reading it and going through the hole. Direct snap. Miles Dawkins makes an appearance today. Nice deflection by Singleton. Nearly had the one-handed pick. All right, Hawkins, let's go, baby. Should get a decent return here. Past the 50. I like it. And on the first quarter, we're on top 3 nothing over Vanderbilt. You're going to start via Mississippi. Oh my goodness. Sanford juking two guys out. Getting to the 30 yard line. That was beautiful. catch up to Sanford like that. Crazy. Oh, 
Oh, nice tackle by the safety. And it's third and nine. Not in field goal range right now. Oh, he's wide open. Oh, he's out of bounds at the one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Malone gets it. First and goal. That was a beautiful play. And Ballard is going to break a tackle and still lose two yards. All right, second and goal. That should have been pass interference. Okay. See if we can get Malone in motion over here. Hit him across the middle, maybe. Let's see, he's R. He's wide open, and he drops it. All right, so another field goal. Cool. Just going to be Rick Hayes' day, I guess. Who needs touchdowns, you know? And Rick Hayes' kick is up, and it is good. 6 nothing. Bulldogs extend their lead. They played 46-yard drive with just over a minute off the clock. It's a good thing about having a great defense. You know, you can trust them. And, uh, you know, you just don't need touchdowns. I would love them. I would really love to have some. But Vanderbilt is just having other ideas for us, I guess. That was a high snap and messed that play all up. 80 to nothing TCU beats Houston. Oh my god. Oh, did you guys see that? Woo! Good lord. That's right, touchdowns are overrated, alright? I agree. I mean, if we don't need them, you know, we don't need to get them. Get them, boys. Get them! I can't believe that score, 80 to zero. Oof. Good grief. TCU looking real dangerous this season. Should I blitz? Should I blitz? Yes. Salazar gets beat by the tight end. First down, Vandy. Uh-oh. Calhoun deflects it away. Oh, my goodness. That was in the receiver's hands. Calhoun reaches up and swats it out of there. All of his 5'10 frame making a play. No way he didn't catch that. Come on, Calhoun. What are you doing, brother? That was his play to make. First and ten, Vandy. Option. And Brown gets three. Good boys. Get him. Let's go. Beautiful play. Who was that? Contreras? I can't see the number. I believe that's Contreras. No, that's a defensive tackle. That was uh, Atkins. There we go. 
My defensive linemen just don't make enough plays for me to remember all their names. I know Contreras is the left end. Nice deflection. Let's go, Wooder. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, they're going for it. Fourth and ten. We need to stop. And we get it. Huge hit by Wooder. Great deflection by Singleton. Let's try a screen. When's the last time I did a wide receiver screen? X. It's going to X. And that's why we don't do screens, ladies and gentlemen. That was a loss of five. That was so terrible. Why are they showing brown stats? Stop it. Get it together, 03. Figure it out. Hawkins is going to come down with it. Let's go. Jump ball. Him and Massey are going to come down with it 10 out of 10 times. Oh, my goodness. Whew. He got crushed. That was not okay. Seven catches, 249 yards for Hawkins on the season. I believe that bests his stats from last year. Oh, he's got him beat. Get there. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, my goodness. Again, we get the mismatch. Just can't get anything out of it. Second and ten, coming up. Anderson, John Anderson, the tight end with the catch at the 35-yard line. We don't need a replay of that one. That was literally a seven-yard pickup. Third down and three. Come on, Sanford. Just get to the outside, brother. And he doesn't. That's a face match, though. We'll take it. We will take the first down any way we can get it. This offense is looking a little rough right now. Let's go slot wheels. Might hit Malone on the left side. Or Massey on the right. Who knows? I snap. That's not okay. Oh, boy. Yep. That happened. Shouldn't have. Lost of nine on the sack. Oh, boy. Yep, that was a disaster. We don't need to see all that. Okay, third and 19. What to do, what to do. Obviously not in field goal range here. If that safety stays close up to the line, I'm throwing it to Hawkins. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Hawkins can't come down with it. Man, this offense is just so aggravating right now. He's got him. Oh my goodness, John White completes a pass to Kennedy for the first down on a fake punt pass. Let's go. Sometimes all you need is a little trickeration. Oh, that was beautiful. Cletus Pace is in the, in the game at quarterback right now. I'm not sure what happened to Watson. But there's no blocking. I know that. This O-line is going through it today, and they need to figure it out quick. I'm not happy about it. One minute to go in the first half. Still no touchdowns. Oh, my goodness. And Pace injured his chest on the play. Billy Bond now in a quarterback. The lefty. The freshman. And he's going to get sacked. All right. 
Another field goal, I guess. That linebacker, <laughs> he was not fooled <laughs> whatsoever. Goodness gracious. Hayes on for his third field goal attempt of the ball game. Oh, we missed, boys. We missed it. We definitely missed with the accuracy. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Game plan for the second half. Um... I don't know. Six to nothing at halftime. You gotta be kidding me. Alabama's 0-6, my goodness. And that is gonna go out of bounds. Take the penalty. Alright, I'm throwing it. I don't care. Six to nothing. Come on, man. Come on, Massey. Get there, brother. He got it. Jump ball. Comes down with an easy money. I mean, how are you supposed to cover that? Guys, six foot five. Watson, seven of fourteen, hundred and fifty-three yards, no touchdowns, no picks. I don't know how we got any yards on that. Should be able to get this. And we do. Up to the six yard line. I like it. Let's go. There's Harding down to the one yard line. the one and a half. Alright, we finally get in the end zone. My goodness. That'll make it a two-score game here in the third quarter. I did not want to kick another field goal. Hayes on for the extra point. <coughs> Excuse me. Extra point is good. 13 nothing. Bandy's defense definitely came to play today. It's their offense that just never shows up. Nice play by Salazar, jarring the ball loose uh, from Holman. All right, second down and ten. And Abbott is going to pick up three yards. He's got 21 on eight carries. And it's third and seven. And 
and nice throw to Holman. And gets a foot in bounds for the first down. Nice tackle by Salazar. He just always seems to be in the right spot at the right time. Oh my goodness, great play. That was Atkins, the defensive tackle. It's third and nine. It's picked off by Salazar. Let's go, baby. Up to the 32. Threw it right to him. That was beautiful. There we go. Oh, he's got him beat. Touchdown, Sanford, the running back with a touchdown catch. That's pretty rare in this series. But you put a linebacker on a 97 speed running back, I mean, you got to take advantage of that. Extra point up. Extra point good. 20 to nothing here in the third quarter. Crowd is loving it. Quarterback's going to try to take off here, and Pruitt brings it down after nine yards. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's a catch by Swanson. Calhoun getting beats. Calhoun should never get beats. Like, man, you got 99 speed at corner. I realize it might be your awareness that's keeping you from being great, but figure it out. Nice tackle by Atkins, who's having a good game at D-tackle. Should have been a fumble. <coughs> that was Atkins again. My goodness. Third down and ten for the Commodores. Oh, what a hit from Salazar. My goodness. And they're going to punt it away. I mean, at this point, I would just go for it. They've had no luck all game. Man, that was a good punt. Out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Try to get Malone on that sideline. And he got it. Oh, my goodness. 
What a throw, that was a laser. Man, Watson stood in there strong and took a big hit. Deflected away by the linebacker. That was dangerous. That should have been a pick. Please block for me. Please. And first down run for Sanford. One of his better carries today. He's got 60 yards now. Oh, to the outside is Robbie Ballard. Oh, my goodness. The senior is in for the touchdown. Oh my goodness. That was so beautiful. I mean, look at his juke. Whoop, gone. Man, he's got about, what, 75 speed? I think his acceleration is pretty dang good, though. That gets us to 100 rushing yards as a team, finally. I think this uh, I think this game might be done. Extra point is up and it is good. Five played 90 yard drive, took a minute off the clock. 27 to 0 here in the third quarter in Starkville, Mississippi in SEC action. Get him. There you go. Nice tackle by Corbin May. And that's an overthrow. Third and nine coming up. Brown, 10 of 24, 124 yards, two picks today. And Barry gets beat by Holden this time. First down, Vandy. Was a very nice deflection from Barry. Could have been a pick. Second down and ten. Less than a minute to go in the third quarter. And Woodard is going to drop Abbott after three yards. Strong safety coming up, making a nice tackle. Third down and seven for Brown and the Commodore offense. And Calhoun gets the tackle for a loss there. I'm not sure about that play call. 
Aiden lost, I think, six yards on the reception. Vandy is just, uh, they're just pretty bad at this point. They've been bad the entire series, but this season especially. Nice juke. Breaking a tackle and gets up to about the 34-yard line. That'll end the third quarter. 27-0. Number one Mississippi State on top of the Vanderbilt Commodores. Looking to go 6-0. and Here in season number eight of our Bulldogs dynasty. And that was a really good play by the defensive back. We're going to take a look at the top 25 after this game and player stats for our team for the season. Whoop. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Still going as Sanford picks up about 15. He's got 75 on the ground today. Harding, the big fella. He's going to pick up 14 up the gut. He's got 28 yards on five carries. Of course, they know we're going to run right there. Because why wouldn't they? Let's go, Ballard. Oh my goodness. I thought he was going to get that all the way back to the inside. That would have been a crazy run. Second down and three for the Dogs. Just going to the fullback. And nobody blocked the linebacker. Cool. Guess we're going to throw it here. Down to five. Up top to Malone to the end zone. Incomplete. Deflected away. Hmm. What shall we do? Fourth down to five. We can't get a field goal from here, of course. That's too far. And that pass is incomplete. Hit the linebacker in the backside. Send the defense back out there. Try to get us the ball back. Quarterback draw. And he's going to pick up three. Danny just 43 yards rushing today. Only 182 yards of offense total. Trying to secure the shutout at home. Oh my goodness, what a run by the quarterback. Brown inside Bulldog territory now. You just got done with NBA 2K24, you won 150 to 58, my goodness. Who are you playing, the Pistons? <laughs> Did they even show up? Should have been a pick. Whew. Dang. Second down and ten now. Let's go defense. Come on, man. We're hungry. The fans want the shutout. We gotta have it. And Barry drops it. The receiver almost caught it too. Come on, Barry. That's the I think that's the second dropped pick of the game. Third down and ten. Coming up. 
Running back in motion to the right side. No! Oh my goodness, Woodard, what was that animation? Well, there goes the shutout. Dang. That is an unfortunate animation that Woodard got. Thompson scored 33, Curry with 28, Devin Booker with 25. That's a nasty team. Extra point is up. Extra point is good for Vandy. Five play, 67 yard touchdown drive. 425 left in the ball game. And they're going to go for the onside kick, which I was not prepared for. Covered by the number two tight end, Brooks. And he's all right. Rub some dirt on him. All right, let's just run the ball and get out of here. Whoop. Sanford picking up seven. He's got 82. Try a counter. I don't do counters too often. Probably not going to work too well, but we'll see. Oh, we did get the first down at least. Pickup for the fullback. He's got 284 on the season, two touchdowns. Doing quite well for himself. Oh, first down, Ballard. Was hoping he could juke that guy out and get a touchdown. At the 21 yard line. Ballard still in at running back. And Ballard taking a bait. Second down and one. Rodrigo Bear had 17 rebounds. My goodness. And Ballard up to the seven. First and goal, MSU. Weber is in at running back. That's how tired we are in the backfield. And Watson's going to fall forward. Maybe a half a yard for him. And false start on the left guard. And we're just falling apart now. Okay. Let's give it to the fullback, I guess. See what he can do. Second goal from the 11. And he'll pick up four. Okay. Third and goal from the seven and a half yard line. Try to hit Massey over the middle. Oh, what a pass to Roy. Touchdown, Bulldogs. I don't know how he fit that through there. I thought it was going to be deflected at least. Oh, what a laser that was. Extra point will make it 34-7. to Dogs. Next 
Match point is good. 10 play 43 are drafted, three minutes off the clock. That's a heck of a fantasy draft he had, man. My goodness. It's a lot of great players. I like Paolo. He's a good player for the Magic. All right, 128 left in the ball game. Oh, what a hit. My goodness. That was Salazar driving the ball loose. Second and ten, coming up. Where is he throwing that? Oh, my goodness. This guy's lost in the sauce. Seven touchdowns, seven picks on the season for Brown. Less than 50%. Pass is caught by Lions. Pick up a 15 and a first down. Salazar on the coverage. Oh, what a hit. Let's go, Calhoun. The young cornerback. Crushing him. Clay Thompson with an 82 overall. I mean, that's still pretty good. All you need is a shot. He's got the smoothest release of all time. Oh, my goodness. Why does it not let me switch to Calhoun in that play? Like, in that instance. Less than a minute to go. Vandy is driving. Somebody take the keys from him, please. with another deflection. He is all over the field today. What a great talent he is. True freshman. And that is almost intercepted by Calhoun. And Robbins. And that's going to be caught. Oh, my goodness. What a throw and catch. Try to do Clay Thompson's jump shot in real life. I mean, who doesn't, you know? I know my jump shot is just like the quickest release of all time. I get the ball, I throw it. Okay, Hayden. Stop breaking tackles, bro. Chill out. Dang. All right, let's get some pressure on this guy. I don't like how they're having success on this drive. Man, that's an overthrow. Watson, player of the game. What was he 10 of 20? That's kind of rough. Let's go defense. Hold strong. And it's picked off by Salazar. And returns it up to the 20. Three takeaways for the Bulldog defense. Oh, there goes Sanford down the sideline. And jukes a man out, spins, and tackles at the 40. And <laughs> that gets him over 120 yards rushing for the day. And here, I was just trying to run the clock down. <laughs> we may have gotten an assist by the referee down the field, but I'll take it. Final play of the game. 
And Sanford will pick up six. Any final thoughts here? We got exactly what we expected to get in this one. Vanderbilt knew they didn't stand much of a chance, but they probably would have liked to keep it a little bit closer than it ended up. There's just not a whole lot you can do when you're facing such a talented team like that. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2003. We hope you join us again. Our final score, Mississippi State 34, Vanderbilt 7. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit saying so long. 34-7 is the final. Vandy ends up with 300 yards of offense just because they threw it 41 times. We had 473. We got sacked three times. We're still not very good on third down this season. But we didn't turn the ball over once. We had three takeaways. We had a better time of possession. It was 6 to nothing. Should have been 9 to nothing at halftime. Kind of a sloppy start to the game. Just ugly. John White, the punter, comes on and throws one of one. 27 yards on a fourth down conversion. You love to see that. His only pass attempt in his career. Sanford, 134 yards in the touchdown. Robbie Ballard, 65 on a score. And Harding had 38. Lots of broken tackles. And nine as a team. Thomas Roy with a touchdown. And Sanford had the other touchdown. Massey, 87 yards on two catches. Malone, two for 61. No drops. Defense, Salazar with seven tackles. Woodard, five. Atkins, four. A bunch of guys with three. Seven tackles for a loss for the defense. No sacks. Three interceptions. Two by senior middle linebacker Carl Salazar. One by Richard senior outside linebacker Earl Singleton. Four deflections for freshman corner Keyshawn Berry. Eleven deflections total for the defense. Hayes, two of three field goals. John White, one punt, 50 yards, and they had a pretty good return on it. And we didn't do anything <laughs> in the return game, excuse me. Going to go ahead and save it here. And I will get off the mic, but I will continue to show you guys the top 25 and our stats for our players on the season. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream today. I know I did. It was a lot of fun. We're at the 6 hour and 13 minute mark at the moment. But if you did enjoy it, please slap the like button. Subscribe if you're new and join the Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. But until next time, guys, take it easy.